Perfect. So, welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate session 108. Look at that. There we go. It's the 1st of October 2021. So, first of all, happy birthday to my friend Olka. And also, happy three year anniversary to my Monday game. Just three years old oh, today. Hey. Three years old today. Wow. Help. <laughs> <sighs> We like that game. We honestly do. Considering <laughs> your last session of it was literally you not playing the game. It was really interesting <laughs> why you didn't play the game. No, we had an evening talking about RP design and uh, how bad Starfinder's rules are, but how great its lore is. It was a great evening where we all shared our thoughts about RP design um, and various other media. I think we review a movie about Bigfoot in the middle as well. Um, but I recorded it all and uploaded it if anybody's really interested. Um, so that was. That hey, was yeah, I could always use any more movies yeah, about no. Bigfoot. So it was. Uh, yeah, I think that re- I think that review is somewhere in the middle of that particular okay. recording. Um, cool, cool, cool. Oh dear! If you heard the term, like it was, it was referred to as like the predator of Bigfoot movies. So that there is some keywords to find. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Mm-hmm. Oh dear gods! But anyway, so. I'm Ryan, the GM of this game, um, which is like over two years old, you know. It was two years in April, so that's something. Ooh. Yeah, just coming, coming and going fast, fast and faster. So anyway, uh, yeah, I GM this game still. Everybody's so thankful for that, me mostly. Um, here are the players. That's you, Sean. Oh. Hello, I'm Sean, and I play Bastiel, the Warforged Cleric. Hi, I'm Isla. No, that's not. I'm Hannah, <laughs> and I play Isla, the Tiefling Sorcerer. Oh no! It's okay. You're 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 Scott now. That's what your job is. <laughs> hey, yes. that works. I love it. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I play Maratus, the Dark Elf Wizard. Hi, I'm Callie, and I play Serene, the Furbolg Ranger. Yeah, yeah. We are down in Aria this week, and we should be getting a crumb bar at some point later. Um, oh, that was a good opening. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Scott will be very proud of you, for that way. Thank um, you. <laughs> I'm just going to double check and make sure. That is the right number, right? We are 108. 108. Does feel right. It is How did that happen? I know, right? I mean, cons- uh, considering like when you joined as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, how is it October? Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. But this is like your 30th session, I think, Ayla. Oh my gosh. Right. Wow. <laughs> yep. Wait. And Serene, you're like 32, maybe? Um, 33? Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what mad. is time? <laughs> right? I am a fetus <laughs> here. <laughs> I am so very young. You say that, but like you're, you're like seven in now, eight, right? I'm I started at 101. Yeah, so, so that's math, so you can all do. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, I did on the first one, the, the second half of the audio didn't work. Oh, yeah. Yep. I have a blessing and a curse, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mainly uh, the latter. Session 101, where I just look mad for half of it, which is, you know, I guess better than looking <laughs> mad for the whole lot of it, like is normal, I suppose. Oh. Um, yeah. So, what do you remember from last time? Mostly for Isla's benefit. Yeah, tell me. Um, we lost wow. two weeks. <laughs> the Banff took us two weeks out of time. Ooh. And we're in Horizon! Yeah, we did get to Horizon, so... Okay, that's good. It. Just, just two weeks late. And then... Hey, we've all known each other longer now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, there was at least at least three hundred confirmed dead uh-huh. from uh, Roman. Roman. Um, out of seven hundred yeah, confirmed 700 people that, had, that got out. Um, there were shock waves. Um, <laughs> it looks like now? the the big crystal over Omen. Or not Omen, sorry, Horizon is still doing that kind of beam of energy towards Omen. So Ooh. they're all still trying to, to kind of 
contain seems to be the word that's kind of mm. coming out now. Um, and the implication now is less that something broke it from the outside that it oh. fractured from the inside. <sighs> out. It had like a surge or something. And it, it, got, it got overloaded almost and it's just yeah. not able to hold it anymore. Um, sure. That's which we worrying. learned from Golol. Golol, yep. Mm -hmm. Great name. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Who's works for the Prismatic Order because Prisma wasn't there. Yep. Couldn't oh. talk to Prisma. She's busy. Okay. Um, yeah, they had to do martial law for a week at least. So the, the the world's a little bit tense right now. Yeah, capital blew up. That's not that's not good. Mm. Stress. Maybe blew up. They can't uh, get to encoded. it. It's no one knows. The, the obviously the, the 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 big prism thingy is still there. If the mm. other prisms are still kind of charging at it with uh, their beams. Uh, but you saying. It, we can still free the plant person. <laughs> um, saying we might be able yeah. to get back to Omen. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. Keyword might. Mm -hmm. um, um, we talked to Tosha. Mm -hmm. uh, lady, and yeah, she, she asked me to go for a, for a drink or something. Nice. Don't, know, don't know the intentions, but it was... Uh, it seemed it. like it seemed like just to get to know you, right? There was no just like overt me. intentions, at least. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they said that they had like uh, a thousand reports of magical experiments going wrong in mm. Horizon. Um, oh no! Mostly conjuration and evocation mm -hmm. going wrong. Um. Mm -hmm. Things moving. I have ran down. I don't know what was moving, but uh, Moreno <laughs> got bamfed out after only a week. Yeah. So he dropped into Horizon, into somebody's house, was a dragon for a split second, and managed to. Well, their house was not a house. Um, and this this couple, Viva, and what was the other name? Lagos. Lagos. Uh, Lagos and Viva. Lagos uh, and Viva Tinderas. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, Love it. had an engagement ring on him that also tracked where he was oh. which is now in Serene's possession yeah, and uh -huh. that is how we found out Serene is in fact not married <laughs> Serene <laughs> um, lying it, liar who lies <laughs> hey I was lying to you I was lying to the guard guy <laughs> <laughs> um Rosera is kind of gassed out. It seems like him doing that spell has like exhausted him. Um, oh yeah, he's, he's having a nap. Well, he's having a nap. So right now. He seems seems to be Rosera. Like yes. he's still making things like making books and stuff happen. Yeah, read through, but he's having a nap at the same time. So God bless him. Um, um, your mum's on on her way. Mama's, well, Mama's coming to, to get us. I don't know where she's been, but she was the one that told us she, you know, mess well, I messaged her and she was like, where have you been for two weeks? And it's like, uh, nanny, <laughs> two weeks, what do you mean? <laughs> oh. uh, so she's coming from wherever she is to tell us okay. or hopefully bring us up to speed. Uh, and it also seems that at least uh, Galol from the Prismatic Order heavily implied that it might be Rosera that needs to kind of start running the place because they have yeah, no Magna. So no, Magna's so no not Magna, no yet. Historia. Mm -hmm. Historia is still not returned. And Ooh. he's next. He's kind yeah. of is next, but he is absolutely exhausted and has no idea what's going on and nobody knows what's going on uh, in Omen. Cool. It's just they can't get close to Omen. It seems to be the cool. major problem right now. It's a volatile fucking... Yeah, party over yeah. there. The party discussed <laughs> their options for trying to get to Omen and realised how few they actually had um, when they realised how well Magna had set up Omen as a base of operations. Um, yeah. Do you want to tell Isla your thoughts that you like, discussed um, regarding getting getting to both successful and unsuccessful, I guess? Um, I say that loosely because we haven't tested them yet. The only one that seemed like it oh, might yes. be vaguely successful was Animal Shape, done by my mum. Because that's any amount of creatures that she can see for 24 oh. hours. Oh. 
Yeah, and all... Which we went to the shortest uh, flight point. Yeah. yeah. What's that, Shren? Yeah. And all Cyril. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Of course, yeah. also do animal shred. Um, Morena Mar- was vaguely put on the list to maybe turn into a dragon and fly there, but we very quickly threw that one out mm-hmm. and thought maybe Cyril would be better. Baby. Let's leave, let's leave baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, most important thing about Moreno, yeah. mm-hmm. his name. He told ah. us his actual name. What's his name? Galactier. Uh, oh. Seems to be a direct link to the white. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Baby. We, baby or brother, we're not quite sure. It's not been revealed, mm. but yes, this is yeah. certainly okay. Okay. related. Yeah. Well, the cold breath and white dragonness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, he, he told us because Maratus and Serene uh, talked. How do we talk? And they're, said they're, sorry. we said our sorry. Oh, yay, friends! Mm-hmm. Friends. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "I should probably bring this up since we're all being honest." It's like, huh? Yeah. I think Adri was just really believe- pleased that um, she was like, never sat right with me that his name was Moreno and it means like never. dark haired. <laughs> oh yeah. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> that's, that's, not like, that's, not, that's not how that one that means. It was good. Um, but yeah, our session ended with if, um, asking have- what he would like to be called um, oh. and to which we don't know. He didn't answer because he's, he's himbo and thought I was saying something else. Oh. Um, my question would be if Cyril got floated as an option here, does yeah, Maratus know about lo- Cyril? No, and also you've been out of the loop, so I imagine Cyril's really wondering where you've been for yeah. two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's Isla's first protocol there. <laughs> just, yeah. yeah. Oh, like, Cyril yes. wasn't technically discussed. It was, this was like okay. a wrap-up chat. Oh, it was player just... conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. it was like, we should fly on yeah. back in. Because yeah. we mostly um, just so chatted about how awkward no, no. it's like. You don't want to teleport because only 700 people have turned up, accounted for, and 300 of those are dead. So that's not great. How and many, what was the population of Omen? Like, easy, like, easily north of 10,000. 10? Shit, man. Right? Uh, oh. So, like, oh. if that... If that this is a Pompeii level. Mm. Yeah. Stuff. Percentage-wise, there's a high chance that, like, a third of the populace, maybe half, no. are dead. And remember, the no. Prismatic no. Order are, like, picking up the pieces of having lost three leader figures, and then we're left on their Todd for, like, you know, two weeks. Two weeks. Mm-hmm. And oh, they're, why. <laughs> they're a specialist group that aren't exactly... They're, like, as I said, there's maybe about 200 Paladins of the Golden Order, give or take, and there's a lot less Prismatic Order age. A lot less, like less than a hundred, easy. So, yeah, like you'd be lucky if they're actually fifty strong, the prismatic order. So, yeah, that's uh, also, probably highly stressed. They're mm. all like magicy, and magic is like not working right at the moment in Horizon. Oh no! So mm. we're not sure if that's cause of the the blast from Omen. Mm-hmm. Magic yeah. going funky. Yeah. All magic or like wizard magic? Um, they said magical experiments, like people, okay. like people were coming you, up. You, to, you, you, you had yeah. the two right there. You said earlier, what was it? Conjuration, yeah, conjuration, and were the ones that people had noticed most. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. were acting not as they should. Experiments going awkwardly in Horizon isn't unheard of, but in this volume, this quickly, definitely mm. raises flags. Um, the party did discover this long before most of you joined. The horizon's proximity to the abyss occasionally gets affected if there's a, like a surge of, mm. you know, energy from the abyss for whatever reason. It does warp mm. magic, but that's why horizon's kind of there as like the canary, as it were, <laughs> right? Um, oh, yeah. Um, it's maybe why, you know, Magna put is and- the strongest piece there. Was was there something with the brothers Brotherhood of Power? Yep, there definitely was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. that came up. I feel like it came up in chat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People mentioned them. Um, I oh, confirmed right. that they do, in fact, like they have their base of operations in Horizon. Mm-hmm. It's not in. They have like nothing to do with um, Santa Cora. Oh, and uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> it's just him. Jaggery. That's all. Why? What? Oh, no. Um, yeah. Okay. I feel we knew that. I feel like we talked mm-hmm. about talking to them, and then instead we did not do that. Yeah, and then it came up. We were like, like, what do we need to speak to them about? We've got the thing we needed from them anyway, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was all that stuff about, yeah, Pa and the Rod, not actually related to the Brotherhood of Pa. <laughs> I mean, technically Bastille's probably had more contact with Pa than most of the Brotherhood probably have in their life <laughs> anyway, so, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't the Grey being like a main character? You can just skip all that lifetime of worship <laughs> bullshit. Oh, like, <laughs> and, like most of them. Like, oh, I'm uh, several times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I just imagine someone walking <laughs> up the street, like, "Oh, and uh, y- have you ever met him?" And they're like, "No, no, no." And then it cuts to Bastiel, just like fancy a swim, just like screwing <laughs> around. <laughs> uh. Oh dear. I will also mention to Alexander who's in chat right now. I am um, do you know I've never once even ever linked Pa to the Bujoran faith ever, despite it being the same thing. And I have had like Pa be part of the pantheon, as it were, of this world since like two thousand sixteen. So that's weird that I wouldn't have even have thought of that. Mm. Having possibly watched Deep Space Nine twice in its entirety since two thousand sixteen. I am um, all seven seasons. So that's weird. Mm. How odd. Um, so thanks for pointing that out, Alexander. Now I'll never not see that. Um, <laughs> uh, and also, welcome to the chat. Um, so, yeah. Anything else worth mentioning for Igla's benefit? Or any other questions, Igla? Uh, no. I feel that, that catches me up. Okay. Good. Good. Anything else? Anything else to bring up, or is that as all sorted? Because that was pretty comprehensive, I think. I think we got it. That's it. I hope. Mm, uh, we'll see. You know, it'll be fun. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't like. Why do you always worry? Like, oh. <laughs> like we're oh. 108 sessions in, and Scott's still working in the game, right? Like the world uh, is on fire. <laughs> that's because we're 108 <laughs> sessions, and Scott's still in the game. I um, I think I covered that. Um, yeah, for Scott. Much love to Scott. Um, but also, it, fair. Uh, yeah, anyway, so goals. Let's look at those things that we occasionally refer to. What are they, Callie? Well, so we still need to get a new wife, new wife Janus, um, which is it's in red for a reason. Yep. Um, <laughs> We need to find out what actually caused the um, ward to get like overloaded. So we know it got overloaded, and that's what caused. But we don't know what actually happened for that. Um, so we need to locate the GDW and acquire the Backfang Spear. And what about your personal goal? Um, I still need to find out what's up with the Fae and all the other things I saw in Omen through Primeval Awareness. And then I think it was it was Galol who just was like, well, sure, there was things in Omen, like it's Magic City, there's going to be all these kinds of things there. Yeah, yeah. Galol was a wee bit like relatively useless in that regard. They yeah. just said, like, um, of course they're there. wouldn't you expect to find that in the magical capital? No? Okay. No, no I okay. wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, why they're there. <laughs> Especially when I've used this spell no less than three times and they never propped before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the ward broke. And then, oh, they're suddenly there. So someone's mm-hmm. hiding them somehow. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. with, the, with the ward. Um, yeah, that's my one. Hiding or a more disturbing word, containing. Containing. Mm-hmm. Hiding. Kidnapping. Concealing. Con- like, CP containment. Re- breach the <laughs> island. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Laboratory. The plants. <laughs> All the plants. Um, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you may as well do Arya and Cranberry School. You're on a roll. So car- carry okay. on. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I need to um, ensure that Rhea is safe. Um, not quite sure whether um, she's with um, Rax's mum or not. Because we talked to Maratis' mum while she was bird and only got half the message. <laughs> so, we're not sure on that yet. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Um, and Crumbar needs to investigate Santa Cora uh, religious leaders for motivations against the GGW. I do love that he does have almost like a mission agenda. Like, I do like it, though it's good mm -hmm. just him, you know, trapping doors, kicking them down, screaming at people, him asking, why is this a bakery and not where all the leaders are meant to be? And then oh, walking shit. away. <laughs> also, exactly. I'd like to 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 let like, you know, Ayla, that um, Serene rolled like an absolute beast last week. I don't <gasps> think you managed to roll less than a 15. Actually, maybe less than nice. a 17. Mm. It was fire. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I'll have to check back on my rolls now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm confident. I am confident. I'm wary about saying anything mm -hmm. in regards to her Roll20 performance, given the curse she's of a GM. She's going to curse me. Yeah, yeah um, uh -huh. I'll try and hold me. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Bastille, what's your personal goal? Find out what the Hydra would have to say about the Phoenix. Yeah. And Isla. Uncover new information about Tieflings and the link to the Abyssal Breeze. <laughs> I think I read your goal out last time. I um, <laughs> you know. want to know what we're doing today, Isla? You want to know what we're doing? I heard there's a tiefling that I can talk to. I love that, like, yeah. the, the, the one tiefling that people have uh, thought about. Yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, I let's would go also, talk to them about everything we could possibly yeah, ask them about it. Yep. Probably um, wouldn't help, because, like, if someone came to me to ask about tieflings, they'd be like, what? What's a tiefling? What are you talking about? So, but I'm excited to meet more tieflings. Yay. Chat, I hear you. I am, um, yeah. I what else we got? What else we got? I uh, Maratus. Search into magics that allow us to re-enter Omen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely ridiculous luck. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's very, very good. Okay, so I believe we were in. Messira's office in the palace, uh, office of the Archmage, he was snoozing on a bed mm. um, while he seemed to be like concentrating on like a handful of other spells as they, you know, seemed to be fairly automated. Um, yeah, I think we had like a conversation between uh, Moratus and Serene for a bit with uh, Moreno, you know, revealing his... Uh, his true name, and I think that's roughly where we were. Everybody was just kind of chilling until yeah. further notice. The last, the last thing that was said was, um, I think I said, "We'll see, whatever makes you happy." And then he was like, "That's a long list." To which I was like, "Out of the two names," <laughs> and then he laughed and didn't answer me. So I'm, I'm waiting on that answer. Yeah. Um. I don't know if he gives an answer, I'll be honest, right? I don't know if he would, um, because he's probably got used to people calling him Moreno now, right? Hmm. I think he'll just shrug at that, and he'll just look at you and just say, you can decide. And then just like, walk away. Bro. Stay in the room, Kim. please. Yeah, Why like, he doesn't leave the room, he just wanders around <laughs> um, within. Uh, did you ask that, sorry, Ella? Um, as well, cause did someone ask him why Moreno? So. Like, did he give himself the name? Did somebody else give him the name? He, just he, he said it was just no something else he asked. said. It popped into his head like, when, oh. when I think you asked his name the first time. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah, so he just wanders around the room, kind of like <laughs> taking in the, you know, the fairly large office that Rasira has inherited. Uh -huh. uh, is it is it the same office that I've been in before? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, so probably brings I up try and great pretend memories. I've never seen it before. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this is all new. I've never <laughs> been here. What? <laughs> How suspicious is that? Just on a scale of one to completely obvious. Um, oh, Isla's quite obvious. Yeah. So. yeah how, how like conspicuous? I'm probably all like wide eyed, like. Look at all these things I've never seen before. So anyone rolling an insight Inside. above a 10 yeah. would be fine? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So do you yeah. want to just roll? Sure. We'll just start yeah. there? Yeah, it's a good start. I, I will say that uh, Moratus is probably sitting with his back to the bed that Rosero's on with his head lying back on it with his eyes closed as he just kind of like 
surprise to Zen out a wee bit. Cause... My favourite thing, sorry, is Serene roll. Yeah. You roll it what? Yeah. Oh, oh, past 12, Serene. Yeah. <laughs> so you couldn't <laughs> fail that. <laughs> Serene just knows Isla. Yep. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> to be fair, Serene was there when I got like, no, was I with Aria? No, Aria was there. All right, okay. Serene was in Forge. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's hard to like remember whence everybody was sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Where the fuck I am? When mm -hmm. the fuck I am? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck I am? Oh dear. So yeah, I think like you have the equivalent of like a short rest if you like want to get anything done within said short time, or if you want to like push into a long rest, you are more than welcome to. Excuse me. It just depends how much you want to get done before like Rosero wakes back up, I guess. Because uh, you're, yeah, you're uh, like uh, just before you go ahead, there, Shan, I'll say like the timers you're on are just short rest timer, which obviously Maratus made use of, so that's at least mm -hmm. happening. You've got the Rosero waking up timer, which we don't know when that'll happen. We've got losing Moreno inevitably, um, timer, which is we don't know. That's just a big question mark at the moment. And then we've <laughs> got a obviously Lunaria's arrival, uh, Maratus's mum. So we don't roughly we don't mm -hmm. really know how long that's going to be. It depends where she was. So. Yeah, that's what we're working with. What do you just want to do? Okay. Mm, go for it, Sean. Hey, no go. Uh, one sec, I'm just looking for the note I wrote last week about this on my laptop. Okay. Uh, I had a plan for what I wanted to do specifically. Okay, so if you just tell us what the note said, that be you wouldn't even have to find it. Uh, <laughs> it's basically I want to commune with the high druid through div. Uh, ascending. I'm gonna try and reach him out yeah. ascending, but I had okay. exactly what I wanted to say in the 25 words. Right. Read those. Okay. Perfect. Uh -huh. I also couldn't believe that worked. By the way, did anybody else was anybody else shocked that that like coaching technique worked? We're like, if you just remember what the note said, you won't need the just note. Just remember what you wrote. Yeah. Just remember it. Oh, that's yeah, a memory. Uh, Bastille's not with us, by the way. Bastille's out in the garden. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. I'm I sorry, I forgot him. It's that bad move. <laughs> we'll probably try and go and find Bastille. <laughs> Okay, yeah. yeah. I'll probably make a really awkward excuse and be like, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely my excuse. Um, okay. I'm just going, I need the air. Um, I don't, bast you out and then I'll leave. <laughs> yeah, yep. Oh boy. <laughs> just mm -hmm. really as fast as possible to get out of that office. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, that's, yep, mm -hmm, that's fine. Yep, you head all the way down. I, um, yep. I, anyone in the room doing anything then mm -hmm. will then switch to the people out of the room. Hopefully that buys Bastille enough time to find his note. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just going to sit and rest next to next to um, Uh, okay. uh just kind of, if anyone has any questions for me, I'll hopefully ask mm -hmm. it. He's just like, uh, I have no spells left. Mm -hmm. Just <laughs> doing your meditations to your arcane recovery, whatever that looks like. Um, yeah. You know, just kind of like getting into your, your zone, probably sitting with your spellbook as well, trying to center yourself, bracing for your mother, probably as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. It wasn't my fault. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about yourself, Serena? Anything you wanted to get up to in the room? Um, I'd probably just kind of wait around for people because I'm kind of fine in um, terms of like magic and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'd probably, like I'd look for anything interesting in the room, but that's not a book. Don't look at the books. Just Moreno. <laughs> <laughs> just staring at Moreno, just trying to yeah understand. Just stares and smiles back, just waves gently. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh dear. I realised that Erin from the US office would probably play Moreno. Um... Oh! Hey. Okay. <laughs> right? I thought it was a bit of ego, kind of, an egotistical kind of a bit of an elven aura to him, but now that... No, okay. yeah. he's just a sweet baby. No, <laughs> it's, like, definitely the himbo stuff is definitely more predominant than the, uh, like, weird, like, arrogant aura that he may have projected at the start. You may or may not read into the fact that the first person to really engage in them in conversation was Crumbar, so there might have been a lot of, like, mirroring um, being done. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe <laughs> I'd just, like, if he's the only, only interesting thing in, but, um, I think I have asked him before whether he was related to the White, but I'm going to do it again. Okay. Because now he's being honest mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about his name, which is 
So you mentioned, um, I think I've asked you this before, um, uh, that, that deer, Moreno. Um, that... He just smiles when he hears his names. <laughs> are, you, are you related to the, to the white? You've got, you share a name. What's your relation? Uh, Roll persuade. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey! Nice. Hey. Yep, yep. Not bad, not bad. So on the plus 12, you roll a 2. <laughs> but on the plus 3, you roll like a 14. Like, what? <laughs> Callie. Come on, come on, Callie. Like, <laughs> what's happening? I don't know. Rolls good when she needs to roll good. Yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, it gives you like a funny look that's maybe a bit hard to like gauge even with your ridiculous insight. It's probably just more confusing the more you learn about it. Um, and then he says, yeah, we're, we're related, I suppose, if you put it in the words that you would use. Um, yeah, he smiles and just nods. Look, do you want to expand on that? I are you last time I expanded person? I destroyed someone's house and that seemed like it was a bad idea so I shouldn't do that okay that's you've, you've been no help at all as usual thank you. oh do you need something I just I just wanted to to know a bit more about you you're such an interesting person and now now you've you've so kindly told us your name which is really it really shows that you trust us, which is lovely, and I just want to know more about you as my friend. I think he just smiles at that, like, you know, as if hearing something for the first time that is clearly, you know, a boon to him. And he mm -hmm. says, uh, Oh! Okay. Um, tell you what, you can ask me two things, and I'll I'll answer them. Oh. oh no. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is like a genie's wish you gotta be real goddamn specific. <laughs> very, very specific. Uh, okay. Um But then I get to ask you two things. Deal? He puts his hand out. <laughs> okay, deal. And then I'll shake shake his hand. Are you being, um, like, so, he hasn't really mentioned anything about answering honestly or anything like that, but you probably get the impression he means that. Um, yeah. Are you fully engaging in this in, like, a honesty thing, or are you, like, happy to massage the answers you give to the questions he asks? Like, what's the... Um... I'll, I'll be honest. If he's okay. being honest with me, if I can tell he's being honest, okay. Okay. Yeah. I would be honest back. Okay, I like it. Mm, okay, what do I what do I ask him? Um, I don't know if it's worth like just yes or no answers because if <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's on, something that probably have, gets. Yeah. Are specific, you like, Candy or, is like, child? Are you, yeah, are you your son or some other yeah, child? Are, yes, are you mm, no child, gender neutral pronouns. Not. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Are you yeah the white's child by blood or something? But then you know you get confused by that. Yeah, that's it. We gotta make these questions <laughs> very, yeah, very your mum. <laughs> well, Candir could be a parent. Is Candir your, your parent? Yeah, your parent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like that one. I think are you the child of Candir does work if that's what you're in for. That that's like gender yeah. on a lot of fronts. Are you the, are you the child of Candir, the white? He's gonna say all dragons are. <laughs> a bit like that. So he's right. Damn it. How are you, you the blood child? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't miss her. He's like, am I the third child? Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like, uh, feel free to ask him anything, right? I don't mind if you want to even just type your question into Roll20 or onto a, a Discord to get it worded exactly as you deem it needed to be. I can give you his uh, Excel spreadsheet page like we did for Crumbar's Wish, if you do that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Could do that. Right. Oh, uh, are, are, are there other question though, guys? Is there anything that? No. Oh. Oh. Good at magic, yeah. like whether he trained or not, or what? Yeah, because he's if he is the one doing the, this true polymorph into a human, <gasps> that makes him very old. 
world. Yeah, did you, or I could say, like, did, do you cast true polymorph on yourself to maintain this form or something? Yeah. Uh, I don't you know what true polymorph is. Aaron. <laughs> but then that tells us that if he doesn't know what it is, it's probably not him casting it. <laughs> but he was able to transform himself back when he hit Horizon. He was a dragon for like a second and he went, Zoop! As soon oh, as yeah, he like so he, realizes, so he, does, so he does do it unless he's just randomly yeah. done a done like lesser. Yeah, because if it was right an now. item on him, then I doubt that it would have not worked for a second. I imagine it would have continuously worked. So mm. the fact that it was like a moment of oh shit. Yeah, imagine he couldn't recast <laughs> it. And it was just like a really shitty disguise self. So he's actually just been nudging loads of things out the way constantly because he's like a dragon. <laughs> but he just People looks look like down the Marina. street and it like. Just- <laughs> Everything gets like lost. Big right? footprints in yeah. the ground and stuff. Yeah. Well, R- Ryan, uh, for for the the horrible number's sake, like <laughs> quantify the age age ranges of like an adult. It goes no. adult, then it goes something, no. then ancient. You're thinking of D&D. Doesn't it? No, get that in the bin. Oh no! Oh fuck! Because I'm trying to think. How do we ask him? Like what? Your first mistake age was you... Ryan quantify. So yeah, can we just very go... good point. <laughs> we just look at him and say the word baby. In a questioning voice. <laughs> it's like, so what, what ranges do they have? Is it like an adult and then an... Well, it doesn't have ancient. What's the middle ground then? It's like a Pokemon and I never remember the middle evolution. Go it's ask terrible. dragons, Maratus. We'll Maratus doesn't speak to dragons! Then you wouldn't know, will you? Yeah. He doesn't yeah. like them. We'll make them friends. Okay, so... It likes oh, this one. Sorry, one sec. So, Shan, I hope you understand and appreciate how much time I've bought you. Just you let me know when you've got those words. <laughs> okay, I've got the words. I just rewrote them. Fuck it. Okay, cool. So you're good to go, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, because we're just going to switch to you. And yeah, we'll, we'll good idea. Them, we'll give them some time to ponder <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. You know what D&D is, right? Everyone's just sharing, like, stall time. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. The next thing, yep. like... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Until somebody okay. just goes, did we just win the game? We just won the game. Congrats, everybody! We all leave now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's yeah. D&D. Yep, it's creative procrastination. Yeah. So yeah, what's your a? Uh, we'll have your scene happen just before like Isla reaches you as well, right? You can have your our moment. Okay. Just before Isla gets to you, she has a lot of stairs to go down. So. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. I know I already had an hour there for Artisan's blessing to make a new divination set. In the sense time. that Maratus and you did your stuff in the same hour. So, not really. Okay. Like, it's. I don't even know how many steps are in this palace, Bastille. Okay. We don't know how long it takes to go up and down. We don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, I guess I'm, I'm laying back in the grass in the gardens, kind of starfished out. Mm-hmm. I'm looking up, got my divination set on my side in the grass. Um, and could I use fabricate to displace the earth under me? Um, I don't think so, right? Because I think you'd need something like um, whatever that actual one that lets you literally edit the earth. Um, yeah, stone shape or like a it's melted. Not, it's stuff. it's not it's not even as complicated as that. It's it's maybe even a cantrip or something, isn't it? Just like oh. old earth or something like ridiculous. Yeah, like. yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's like you get spells like that. Um, stone shape could probably do it if it was like stony enough. Which yeah, but the problem you'd have here is this is like the palatial gardens that you're currently in. Probably can yeah. do a lot here with magic, right? Yeah. Okay. Then uh, I mean I'll to edit the to... location that if that makes sense more so than you know other yeah. things. I'll just try a regular sending then. Okay, yeah. Uh, bang. Click the. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll say. So, let's see, 555. Five, five. This should be enough. I say, even as the sky falls and the world falls apart, I manage to find myself cornered. What would you have me know of the Phoenix? Hmm. Yeah. Do I pop that into. Roll 20 as well. Good. Mm. Oh, hey. Um, P. 
page one of the Book of Bastille, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in the Book our, of Bastille. like, I mean, besides Moratus, nobody else is as immortal as you are, right? Mm. <clears throat> yeah. No, it made. Yeah. So yeah, um, you asked this of the Hydrid, I assume. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I can you roll a wisdom save for me? Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there's a similar sensation, not as her like horrifying or as crippling, as the one when you tried to like reach Zadreka. Um. Oh yeah. But there's a similar sensation, like enough that you can like. It's not as overwhelming, so you can like pick out the parts where it does feel like you're connecting to something too big for you. Mm -hmm. um, until like the choir almost like singles out into a singular voice, and it says, "Meet with me when you are ready." Okay. And that's your reply. You could probably guess it's because the hydrid isn't just a guy. So like, yeah, phoning <laughs> the forest is probably a headache waiting to happen. I am. I'm basically imagining smoke Sauron in the Hobbit. <laughs> yeah, um, like you're definitely. You probably take a good maybe like half an hour to just like chill. After that, maybe lying as you're a you know, grass angel in the, the gardens, um, <laughs> yeah. and then maybe like Isla like blocks the light hitting your face. Yeah. Yeah, down. I really wanted to see that thing where you just bend at the waist. And you're like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you? Oh. oh, I'm just gonna like sit down on the grass next to you. Um, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. <sighs> just needed a it, moment. That's completely fair. It's been oh, a weird. I want to say day, but like, honestly, just like a weird, uh, two, two weeks, three weeks, and four weeks, I don't know anymore. Also, time travel. Um, a weird life for us. Oh, uh, that's a good way to put it. Um, I don't want to treat you as if your spells are the only thing that matter, but also, do you still have a sending? I look really pathetic and like you blink my eyes like take pity on me <laughs> yeah he, he chuckles and he's, he kind of sits up in a, a cross leg formation mm. what would you have me do um I've I, I feel like I need to stop um twisting how things are supposed to work because sometimes that goes really badly and, like, I disappear, and that's maybe not a good plan from Horizon. Could you maybe message Zerul and check in and say that we're okay and see if Hyrox's okay and maybe if her crystal is doing the same thing? Um, I'm just aware that we've been gone for two, and a, two weeks, and I've not done that before. I can do that kind of big, like... Please. I'm sweet. Okay, I'll do that. Tell my you. boss that I'm not dead. Thank you. Okay, but you leave the but way. But yeah, she doesn't give you any words. Like, she genuinely, she, she rambles. Oh, fuck. And so if she sent a message, it would definitely be like, Hi, um, we're okay. We're in Horizon. I think there was a thing, Omen, uh, Crystals, Wards, is, are you okay? What's happening? <laughs> Okay. That would 100% be the message she would send. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll cast sending. Thank you. Uh, so... Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh, to we... whom it may concern, mostly <laughs> slow. <laughs> <laughs> Governors of are... High Rock. <laughs> Only now emerging 
Anything from the wreckage of Omen on behalf of Isla, are you safe? Safe. Uh, is that good? Uh, yeah, enter if you want to just send it just now. Like, I don't, I won't commit yeah. you to it, don't worry. Okay. I'll let you tweak it until you decide to give me the definitive. This is what we're sending. Yeah, I feel I know what, like, it's high rock thing. Hello! Say that all again. Mm-hmm. Scott? Why can't I hear him? Yeah. I mean, we can hear you. Mm. No? Hello. Hello. Yeah, I can hear people again. Yeah. Hey. Can I just do your intro now, Scott? I am Paladin, the half orc Crumbar. Uh, welcome to Yu Gi Oh. Let's do. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Close enough. Bro, it's my dragon. <laughs> Is that just Moreno? <laughs> no, he's. he's... Oh, he's got red eyes. Oh. Um, Remember, he's got the albino know. features. I, I... I mean, I think of I think we Moreno tried to become a dragon once before, and look what happened. I don't recommend it again. Um, that is a one way ticket to the dark realm. Mm. The darkest of realms. But screw the rules. He keeps getting money. Is that like the phrase, right? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. e e e either way, part of the cards, guys. Believe in them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So how's this message coming along? Yeah, done. Okay, so hello. We are only now emerging from the wreckage of Omen on behalf of Isla. Are you safe? We lost two weeks to the ward. Okay, Isla, you happy with? Yeah, I feel Isla would probably be like, is High Rock safe? Because obviously, Cyril's awesome, and why wouldn't she be safe? <laughs> she's the best. But she's not the one sending the message, because Cyril's mm -hmm. not 120 feet away, so. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Don't you, ha don't you have sending? No? No! Okay, like, I just for some reason thought no, you had, time, but no. No, last time I tried to do that whole, like, I could just reach into myself as a sorcerer and connect to the mother of sorcery, and then I got zapped by lightning and, like, disappeared. Mm. I feel like from Horizon that's not a good plan. No. 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 I'm trying to remember and learn from my mistakes. Ah. A rare yeah, yeah. technique. Who are we sending a message to? Also, it's thank you again. 14 months, buddy. Woohoo! Yeah! It's mad. Yeah. It's mad. God damn. It's always nice to see Tilda's wee yeah. face pop up. Um, mm -hmm. A swap are you for is High Rock, if High Rock is one word. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go for that. High, high Rock. Just say it really fast. Okay. Are you, that str are you struggling for words there? One, two, three, four. Six, I mean, seven, if you eight, say eight, words 12, really, really 15, fast, they'll count as <laughs> Yeah, don't don't breathe between the words, don't leave spaces, so it's just one big long word. <laughs> yeah. Is that how this works? To be fair, that's 100% how Isla would do it. Plus, you can save Hello. by saying, already... Hello, only just emerged from Omen. Yeah, that's very Ooh. wordy. Comma. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Don't need that. Isla, <laughs> then quotation marks. Are you safe? Question mark. <laughs> we lost a week to the ward. I was making the point of not talking to her like a mate in case she's like, you don't know me like that. Who the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> but you know. Uh, yeah. So I was trying to be cool. It's like when you write a, an email to like your boss who's also your friend. And you're like, yeah. um. Forget you put a smiley face on it and corporate checks them all yeah. and you're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. Think I'm the same. Yep. That one. <laughs> one emoji. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> Younger Ryan did that to one of his bosses, and I it just went straight up to the boss. Went, should do I apologize for things like this, or is that okay? Because, <laughs> like, I don't intend to do it again. Because that's the whole reason I walked all the way to your floor to say this to your face. But <laughs> is that weird? I don't think it should be that weird. They just looked at me and went, "It's fine, please." Leave me up. <laughs> By the way, so yeah, you send that off. You happy with that? Cool. Yeah, we can definitely like trim that down to twenty-five words, yeah, and get the gist of that across. So yeah, you send that away. I'm 
and then yeah, I think the reply is High Rock stands. I am well, and there's definitely like a pause there. Um, is Isla safe? Balls. No, oh, no, cast. no, no. This is a new sending. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, so he can reply. Yep. That's okay. cool. Because my boss is the best. Uh, yeah, I, I do a, a he one head nod at Isla and give her a thumbs up as if to say, "Are you good?" Before I split, no, without actually saying a word. You kind of just just say, "Are you good?" and then think the answer back to her. I like it. Um, that's fine. Like, okay. just take the first things you say. Uh, she wants to know if you're safe. She is fine. I rock is fine. Oh, good. Um. Yes, I think we're as safe as anybody right now. Um. You can say we're in Horizon. Um. Trying to figure out what happened. And then I do that kind of like really awkward like smile like ah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and I'll say back. Uh, Isla is completely safe with us here in Horizon. We are just figuring out how to um, uh, what went wrong with Omen's board. Okay. What? I may as well ask the mother. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? That's fair. Um, yeah. Uh, you get another message that comes through. Um, it just says, uh, "Thank you for your uh, communication." That's all it says. Okay. Uh, I, I like your eyes start glowing blue. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, and then we cut to the other party. <laughs> so, <laughs> people in the room, have you just worked out your questions for um, Moreno slash Glactier? I think the best, best one for me is just to ask if, if Candir is their parent. Um, and then on the other one, I'm not too sure. I've put a couple of ideas in. Um, I think uh, Nat's one for how many, oh, how old are you? How many years old are you? Um, is interesting to know, but doesn't like, really it, give us much yeah, apart from like, like how powerful he is. But we know that he's powerful. We think. Yeah. Um, is there point asking if he's casting to true polymorph in himself? Because from what he told us, where he was a, a a dragon for a split second, kind of indicates that he did do it. Because otherwise, what else is done? Mm, how would he reapply it? Yeah, if it's yeah. Um. So the only thing I was thinking, I was like, oh, do you know how like dragons use blood? Magic, do you know how to use blood magic? But I think that might be a bit too above his head. Um, yeah. And then just asking things like, are they on like good terms with Candia still? Like, did they run away? Like, if we 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 could leverage him in some way. To... <laughs> You're so <Excellent>. cutthroat. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, dear. With Candia. But yeah, I don't, I don't know on that second one, so if any... Just, Kylie, remind me if we're ever playing together again as, like, player <laughs> and player. Like, remind me to make sure I always tie my, my character to you in the backstory in some way, so I don't feel like you're about to betray me in some, like, sleek <laughs> way. Uh, wow. Well, <laughs> I just mean I want to be in on the plan, okay? Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, maybe yeah. some the answers that we get from the the parent one will give us a better idea of what to ask the second question. I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Serene, you need to ask the question anyway, so go for it. I'll ask the question. What's so, the first one? Is Candir your parent by birth? He kind of like tells his head and says, "Ah, oh, yeah. Why wouldn't you think that?" Oh, I I don't know. I've just. That's not my question, though. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Just very quickly, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one for free. Don't. Well, that's kind. Um, um, 
kind of just nods. Oh, and he says, okay, so my question now. Um, okay. What are you, um, mm. and he like sits and think, like, like, like starts like scratching at his like chin, and he says, um, your people, the mm -hmm. Furbolg, um, yes. they live near dwarfs, and dwarfs have a, like tales that may or may not be true about your people. Um, why do you fight the Fae? Well, because they fight us. He kind of like raises eyebrows, really. he's like, he's like, huh. He, he almost yeah, looks a little disappointed that like it wasn't a, a more detailed like answer. He's like, huh. Okay. Like, well, I, I can I can tell you more about it if you you want. It's not it's not really that interesting, really. It's just there. Oh, was that a boring question? Oh. Oh no, no, it's fine. Like, if that's what you're. <laughs> that's not the question. Um. You guys it's, was it boring? It's, well, they, we both, well, we lived in the forest. I, d I guess, I don't know whether we were first or they were first, but we were li we lived in the forest for forever, for as long as I can remember. And yeah, because Verida's protected you, right? Yeah. And so we were, we were just in the forest and then these, they kept, you know, coming into our land and trying to attack why, us and right like you gotta ask yourself why it's strange I, what did you have did you take did. something from them no i don't think we did we should find out maybe we should but there's just nods like as if this is a great idea <laughs> there's there's, there's hell holes and things at my home at the moment isn't that what so... you're closing though well, yes, yeah. but... He kind of like looks around the room when he says that, as if, isn't that the point of the... Like, half the people that are missing. Um, he's like, this just looks at Marenna and goes, That's your fourth question, by the way. <laughs> I, um, I just, just smile at Marenna. <laughs> he just looks at it like he has no idea what you mean. I just said, that's, that's okay. It, it, it was all related to that first question, so I'll, I'll, I'll let you off with that. Just make sure you do the same back to her. If you're playing, you can you can play, but if not, then you, sh you shouldn't play. Mm -hmm. I'll play if it's a game. <laughs> I don't see why not. It's nuts. Also, apparently, whose birthday is next? I don't know if you mean like characters or players. I am Tom. I am, as he asks in the chat there. I am. So, yeah. I mean, if anything, Tom, it's the three year anniversary of my Monday game today. So that's a thing. So it's that's birthday. But who is the player with the next birthday? Whose birthday's soonest? Mine's in August, so if we've got January. Yeah, mine's June. September. I, I think Natalie won. April. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is I. Me. Woo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yep. It is Natalie. Right? Or Serene? Serene? Callie? Natalie? Mm hmm. One of those people. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. There you go, Tom. There you go. There's your answer. Um, so he looks at you and he says, uh, "It's your next question." Oh. Um. Are you are you still on good terms with Andy? Kind of like narrows his eyes and like tilts his head and is like, "Good terms, like." Is she mad at me? Well, yeah. Is is she mad at you? You just kind of left. No, I'm helping Cyril. Like, what? Why would she be mad at me? What? Did she say something? No, no, no. It, it, we just just kind of <laughs> wanted to to know, to know, to make sure that you didn't like run away or things were bad at home or anything. <laughs> He looks really, like, confused. And he says, No. Should I check, though? Oh, um, I, th I think things are... Uh, well, they were fine oh. when we were there. Okay, so you've heard it's okay. Okay, good. It's 
just wanted to check things were okay with you. Right. Okay, it's 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 your turn now. Okay. Um, I'll ask this question, and then Maraz can ask us one each. That seems fair, because he heard our answers mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because he was cheating. Yeah. Marino just like smiles <laughs> at you. I Maraz. didn't know the rules <laughs> of the game, dear. I can't cheat when I don't know the rules. I don't think that's true, though. I um, I said that to somebody mm -hmm. in Omen, and they they said that ignorance of the rules wasn't a defense from the rules. And I didn't really know what they meant, so I just smiled at them. And then they gave me money and left me alone. Mm, so loser. I thought so, but then I wasn't really sure how I won. He looks lost. I am. Um, yeah. Ask um, your question, dear. Uh, also, it did, Tom. It did indeed. So, Natalie, you got inspiration to use, just so she know. Oh, thank you. I haven't used any of mine, but I'll. D does anybody need? And I'll give them the one I haven't. This can be the Birthmas one, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. Any missing uh, inspiration? I don't have inspiration. There you go. Oh, thanks. Hey. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Marina kind of like hey. blinks and then says, "Right, so I have one more." Um, Um, and he just like stares at like the ceiling. Can <laughs> we so, hear the dial up noises? It's not, I don't even know if it's just like the, the slow clunk of a cog being knocked into place um, <laughs> as the machine, the great machine is being built. Um, and he goes, Right, uh, okay, uh, what's your favorite color? Oh, oh my god. Oh, um, and why? I know it's kind of like two, but like it, you know, and he just winks and at you. And why? Um, oh yeah. Um, well, it's, I suppose it's not very interesting, but just kind of that that deep green that you you get on on um, pine trees, just because it's it's nice. He just nods and goes, "Yeah, I know what you mean." Yeah. 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 Because it's nice. Because yeah. It's nice. It smells good too. <laughs> it does smell very good. It just like, nods excitedly. Um, mm -hmm. And then I, I, Moreno, I was going to say Moratis again. Moreno looks over at you, Moratis, <laughs> and he says, So we get to ask you one question and you ask us one question? That seemed fair? Certainly does. Ask kinda like, away. Kind of like does like a curtain. He goes, No, no. Um, it's your turn. So you can pick one of us to ask first. All right. Um, Serene. Hmm? How do I word this? Is, this is that your like question? <laughs> so that's what Miranda I'm asks. asking myself, my dear. <laughs> okay, um, take your time. I know. I had to take some time. I, as long as you need. Um, I'm trying to ask this without being insulting because my mother would hate me if she asked, heard me asking this of a lady, but how old are you? Oh, um... I'm 107. Oh. Not bad at all. Right, I just know it's like that has some relevance to him in some way. Um, and I'm just <laughs> I kind of gesture my hand out to Serene. Yours to me, dear. Oh, um hmm. Who am I asking? Marina was like, when I've got one. Don't, don't let, <gasps> let me go. I'll go. Oh, okay. Okay. You, you go first. <laughs> so, Maratus, um, can you dance? <laughs> and Bro, do you like it? Um, I can do the waltz. I can do most ballroom dancing, but solo dancing, no, I cannot do. I need to have a dance with a partner. Okay. And nice. yes, I do enjoy it if the partner is good. Otherwise, no. Okay. Okay. Nods. All right. All right, oh dear. You said you were helping Surul. What did Surul ask you to help her with? 
precisely. Her uh, words is best you remember. He points to like, the doors that um, Isla left with. I left through. He goes, um, Isla needed to get back to you guys. Um, well, not specifically you. Um, you're new. Hi. Um, Hi. But the <laughs> the the others. He's like kind of half like gesturing to Serene in her entirety. Um, them. It is an escort or as a guard. He just looks at you and smiles and says, "Sure." Fair enough. He just like he looks a bit awkward. Like he's not sure if he should be saying more or not. <laughs> so he just. <laughs> Kind of looks I'm between everybody ass- and he just like nods and goes, <laughs> okay. I'm going to assume that she's your auntie in some way. This isn't a question, this is just me speaking my mind. So that's quite sweet that you obviously have a decent relationship with her. The general consensus She normally doesn't we... ask me to do anything, so it was, it, it was nice to be useful. I'm sure you're useful more than you I think you are, darling. I don't think you need to be asked to do something to make you useful. Yeah, like that, like just like you're clearly like thinking about that and you know, like Yeah. Okay. It's simply that um the general consensus of the populace of this world is that the five have a tenuous relationship, strained, they're a bit sibling rivalry. So the fact that Does everyone think that? Really? It's the general thought. Like, he looks amazed at the idea that everybody has an opinion that all agrees. Like, he is, like, absolutely, like, oh my god, that's amazing. (laughs) So, the notion that your aunt um, can call upon you and there's no qualms between your Candir and Cerul is very, very nice. Nice You should speak to more dragons. They're really nice. Ah, again, general general populace would disagree, dear. Yeah, I don't know if well, that's true, well. but there's lots of people that like to drive. Anyway, um, it's a question. He points to both Serene and Maratus. Um, it doesn't necessarily indicate to who he was talking to. I looked at Serene like, <laughs> okay, here you go. <laughs> okay. All these questions and no one's drinking. What the hell? <laughs> Kambar is sitting in the corner drinking. Like, yep. no. Uh, I would like to know, Maratus, what, what spells do you usually use. I haven't, it depends. Noticed, I haven't noticed a book on you. He then gestures to under his let me make sure we get this right. Under his right arm there's a book and then on his left hip there's also a book. Oh, <laughs> like, oh okay. Um, also he was kind of sitting like while what? sitting next to Rasiri he was pouring through a book. <laughs> Just so you know. So if you want to re-ask the question you can. Yeah, I'm more than Yep, don't yep. Worry. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. Don't worry. Rally's <laughs> had to be blip. Don't worry. What happened? <laughs> 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 yeah. um, I'm just going to. Uh, um, what was I going to. Oh, the original thing I was going to ask. Um, when did you leave your home and move to Omen? Very early on in the conception of Omen, about 50 years ago. 50 years ago. So. Yes. I suppose relatively recent for, for you speaking. Oh, yes, recent for me. Yes. Ish. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I we still don't know how old you are, but I won't ask because I've I've used my questions. Well, I did ask the insulting question to a lady, and again, if my mother was here, I would have got hit through the back of the head to be honest add 110 years onto your age and that's what you get with me how in my brain brain. okay oh so yeah Moreno's also (laughs) counting on his hands Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) and he looks at you and goes you're like two serenes 
Mm-hmm. Close. Just, just over. And what about you? How many Serenes would you be? He looks at you, Serene. Yes. I'm 107. So, so she'd any points? So she'd be one serene. Yes, <laughs> I'd be. I'd be one serene. And if I'm two serenes, how many serenes are you? And he kind of like looks at you and goes, "Hmm, hmm, I can help you count." If and he you starts. Like. He starts like counting again. Very like as if lost in his own world. And he starts counting, and then, like after like a solid. Maybe 40 seconds of just silence, staring at his hand, turns his hand over, starts counting like the other way on his hand, as if it makes a difference. That's and, so cute. And then goes, I think about five, maybe, maybe six serenes. Okay. He shrugs, he's like, we don't really count. You, you don't count your age. Why would we need to? Oh, you can... Well, people like to celebrate when they were born each year, so... Does it matter how many times you celebrate that? One, once a year is, is the normal. Yeah, but like, do you count how many you have had? Does that mean you get more each time? What? Okay. Just when, you, when, you, when you say that, he's like, what? As well. <laughs> um... Yeah, if you want, given that you have like a plus 12 to insight, I could just tell you what he means, if you would like me to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go for it. So he means like, why would you count how many birthdays you've celebrated though? If like, does it matter how many you've had? Does it change what happens on the celebration day? Cause, oh yeah, what if, what if you don't, yeah. Right? Like, celebrate one year and then you won't get it. Right, so yeah, like for him it's more a case of, oh does it, so if you count them up you get like, you know, something related to how many you've had. Okay, that was like how it came across to him, that's why you would count them. But, yeah, he's just mostly confused by the whole, like, why would you count? Because, yeah. If anything, you've learned at least Moreno doesn't understand counting birthdays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I certainly so say, dear. I would... <laughs> well, he said about six, so yeah, I'm going to say... I just have no idea. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to give... I'm going to give... I'm gonna give him credit. I don't think he's completely bird brain. <laughs> um, and I just kind of looked to Serene, and just kind of shrugged my shoulders as in, oh, once we and the kind of gestures to the ears get to a certain point, we just stop counting as well. Considering we exist till someone stops us existing, or we decide otherwise. So, times kind of moot to certain creatures in this world. I think. Moreno just kind of nods, like, vaguely. And then says... I suppose we only have a few hundred to count, so... Grandbar, how many serenes are you? Moreno asks. Oh, no. Um, Fraction! We're going to have to to explain division and fractions. Oh, no. (laughs) Uh, I Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm like, where the hell does it say? And I'll just kind of be like... I uh, I don't come close to her um, maturity. You're about half, half a serene, perhaps. I'll be like, mm. rubs chin a little bit. I'm like, I think. Last I remember, thirty-seven was about right. You're thirty-seven serenes. No, no that's a lot. he's he's only thirty-seven. You know how she said okay. she was a hundred and seven. He's thirty-seven. Right. So he's seventy less. Right. So he puts like his hand, like maybe like just below like your your belt line, a uh, serene, like, and he says, "So you're about there." This is stood, I mean, that's a decent level of a fraction there. Okay, just nods to himself proudly. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we, we cut back outside. <laughs> so, 
back outside, I am um, obviously Bastille. You see Isla's eyes like go blue, and then she becomes like non-responsive to you. Um, oh. But you've probably seen this happen a couple of times by now, so you know. Nope. And it's probably oh, no. you probably don't have to roll anything to kind of guess why this is happening, um, given that you just had a a brief chat with her boss. So yeah, so Isla, you are um, for lack of a better term, tentatively in like a what looks like a construct of her office. Oh, cool. Nice no, job. Yeah. Yeah, and she's, oh. she's sat at her desk um, just kind of like staring at like you and there's that kind of almost um, like after image effect to everything here so you can tell like you're not here. Um, it is definitely like a, a mental connection more than a physical connection. And she says, you were lost for two weeks. Can you explain this? Not, not really. It, it was also news to us. This has left um, me in a very awkward position, Isla. Um, it, it just all collapsed. It, it seemed fine, and then it, it wasn't, and it kept getting worse. Um, and then suddenly people could teleport, which we, we'd seen it. It's really she just like ticker. shakes her head slowly, and like she has a look on her face that you don't often see on Cyril's face. Um, and she says, You were gone for two weeks, Isla. Think. Oh, yeah, but, oh, we didn't mean to. I look like really like, oh no. Yeah, like she stands up and like, again, that strange like little after image of her, I am, and like she walks around and puts like a hand on your shoulder, which again, that kind of like tingle of static electricity passes through you. And she says, I didn't have any way of contacting you or any of your companions for two weeks. The prismatic order declared martial law in each of the cities. I enforced lockdown in this city myself with the armies at my disposal. However, no Magna, no Justoria, no Resira, and a very stretched thin prismatic order the Crusader at night, nowhere to be seen. No head of the Royal Army either, as a result of this. I had no choice, Isla. Oh. I look kind of like... Oh. Can I ask, am I getting the vibe that she did things she regretted, or am I getting the vibe that she called her brother? Uh, both. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that time that I need to talk to more dragons, oh, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually potentially going to kill things now. <laughs> when you say, oh, 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 well, there was a no, thing she, said she, about she if we fucked up, she would call her brother. As in, as as in the one that destroys everything. And I'd like to emphasize, Scott, that if the red has carpet bombed the abyss, say bye bye to the fucking golden order yeah the they're in there the abyss, then i'm gonna go carpet bomb him on my shovel yeah we're hunting the fucking red <laughs> you know, at this gonna, point yeah. and maybe it's the rule because it's her fault she Wait, just wait, called wait, in that wait, fucking wait, thing. Wait, 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 no, so do you it, think it was the red that done the kaboom de bloom on Omen? 
No, no, no. No, no. no, no. What no that came from no. inside. It was internal. The inside of the f okay. uh, the prison fractured out the way. But because we've been missing for two weeks, Cyril has went, I don't know what to yeah. do, so I'm just going to call in the T-54 yeah, bomber gonna, and napalm yeah. shit. Can I, can I, can oh, I, God. Probably. Uh, wouldn't we, <laughs> wouldn't we have been told that by Galol? Wouldn't yeah. They, they would know that yeah. happened it. No, okay. but it means he's on route, and I don't think we can stop the red right. unless what was it we mobilise so, everyone against okay. him. So, to answer mm -hmm. Serene's query, the Prismatic Order don't have the resources to track everything. They have how many cities to operate? God. Yeah. No, I would have thought they'd yeah. do something as big as the red if he was just like flying. Yeah, because he'd have to fly so near how would they, it's at how least would they, How would they know any of that if all the wards are busy? Yeah. Oh, and not stopping. Fuck. Yeah, they're not. They they're doing something else. Anyone mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, no, because that's the Golden Order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yep, so back in the scene. Uh, we have fire resistance. Back Look, in the scene. We're going yeah. Throw in a bomb. Okay. So back in the scene with uh, Cyril and Isla. Mm -hmm. So that's the impression you get. Cool, cool, cool. Uh huh. How? Um, he kind of like hyperventilates slightly. Like the touch as well is probably like you could have gauged like she's relieved you're still alive. Mm -hmm. There is that, but yeah. also that has just reinforced the deer. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 How? Um. Oh. How? How long? She uh, just sits back down, very like unceremoniously as well, um, oh. as if that chair is doing a lot of work for her right now. Yeah. And uh, she looks up at you, and she says, "It's been done." <laughs> It's already too late. Meet me at oh, the harbour of Horizon. And I like looks, nod. And she says, like, yeah. Give me one hour and be ready to travel. And then the connection ends. Okay, cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. I come back to myself. Mm -hmm. Just like, like, I've probably gone from that, like, I'm not here. I'm an empty shell. Mm -hmm. I so like to imagine Bastille just like poking me in the forehead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Balancing mm -hmm. coins on your nose or something. Yeah. Or? <laughs> <laughs> and I just like full on flail and just go, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, then, but no, no, you, I think that's a good place to go to break. Just you saying, okay. fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take our break here. A good place. Um, oh. Be back soon, folks.
And we should be back, in theory. You just can let me know. Hopefully the audio works. Somebody can check that for it's me. Checking. That'd be great. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Please be working. <laughs> work, work, work. <laughs> I was going to say Sonora, but... Mm. Yeah, shake, shake, <laughs> shake. Sonora. Shake all the time. Yeah, it works. It works Excellent. for me. So it's probably Perfect. working for me. Huzzah! Well, welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate Session 108 Part 2. Ah, it's the 1st of October, 2021. I'm Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hello, I'm Sean and I play Bastille, the Wolf Watch Cleric. Hi, I'm Scott. I play Crumbar, a half-orc who I hope is still a paladin. Oh. Hi, I'm Hannah and I play Isla, potentially responsible for the end of the world. <laughs> Do you think that's right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. um, it's hi, the I'm end Natalie. of the world as we know yeah. it. <laughs> There's so many potential themes to this episode. We're going to have some good names for this. Uh, hi, I'm Natalie and I play Maratus, the Dark Elf Wizard. Hi, I'm Callie and I play Serene, the Furbolg Ranger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's who we are. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just, maybe just put my suggestion in. Already for a session titles. <laughs> oh, not yep. bad. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep. It's bold. I went yep. for it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> maybe that. That's maybe what I said last year. Yeah. Let's have that scene though. All right. So you've just got Ayla yeah. kind of coming to the kind of electric blue of her eyes, like you know, crackling away to clear to her normal blue eyes, and then, yeah. We have a yeah. Just a stream fuck, 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 fuck. of expletives. She's <laughs> <laughs> unusual, Viola. She's not that swear. Mm. Uh, say, so, what's the matter? Doesn't seem like you've been fine. Mm, 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 worse. Five? Potent potentially worse. No, definitely worse. One hundred percent. Absolutely worse. We need to go get everybody now. Uh, uh, the, the red potentially has been oh we run I just run <laughs> I look down at my at my grass angel imprint and I consider oh. just going back to bed <laughs> and then I hurriedly follow mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, back up your stuff. Mm -hmm. As you're like running away, all like the blades of grass pop themselves all back up and perfect themselves <laughs> because you know oh. at least the garden magic's magic still working apparently. Mm -hmm. um, uh, to be fair, this garden did knock out Crumbar previously, um, so there is that. Well, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was actually one of the precursors. To, that's the last time he's had. Um, Hermos in the party, I think. That was it. Because remember, you get knocked out in the fight as well. Her times. Yeah. Do you remember that? No? All the trees came to life and fought you guys? No, I remember being at work. Ah. But still, <laughs> the session that did happen. Though. Nope, not in my mind. Okay. Didn't happen. Okay. Fake news. Fake news, okay. So, anyway, yeah. Um, back in. The office, I guess. Is there anything you specifically need to do before we just have Isla appear with some news? I feel like Isla just appears with some news, right? Yeah. Also, I guess since we're actually live again, we should maybe just speak to anyone that was savvy enough to notice the meta gaming subtly done. I am. We we caught oh. it eventually. Don't worry, folks. We got it. You know, Maratus doesn't know who's the real secret secret identity is. We know this. We got this. We're on top of this. We know what's going on. Uh, yeah, I was excited yeah. that my job wouldn't be as hard, and then it turns out, oh no. No, no, it's, it's, it's in fact worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to so, be real complicated. But don't worry, we might be able to solve that very soon. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you have nothing you wish to necessarily have got up to in the interim, I guess we just have Isla burst in with Bastiel's close behind her. Back into the room. I'm like full on. Static in my hair. <laughs> I look incredibly panicked. 
Probably Which just... is impressive because I was quite panicked when I left. Hmm. What's the matter? Um, bad. But we we were gone. We were gone for two weeks. Um, and um, things maybe got out of hand. We need to, to go. Um, now. No, no in an oh, hour. That... We. <gasps> I'm waiting oh. on my mother, dear. You know this. I'm not leaving until my mother gets here. <sighs> what do you mean things have happened? There was maybe... Um, things said. If we failed fail safes, that um, it's a rule put into place that have maybe been initiated. I, I'm going to spin towards Maratus. Mm. <laughs> Just be like, hi, I'm Isla. I work for the blue. I dressed for it myself. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. um, we, we were gone. She thought we were gone. She thought we failed. And so she called. Um, a last resort. Divine, a last resort. Who From do a you think? like that. Have a think. I don't really want to say it in here. It caused shit last time. She's going to meet us in an hour. At the hub. I... A dragon is not going to be able to get in here. Marina will just wait. I'm just going to... Yeah. <laughs> You're <laughs> different. Gonna... Thank you. Wait. No. In a good way, apparently. Uh, hang on. You work for the blue. Where is this... Blue? How have you been communicating with her? She's <clears throat> a dragon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bastiel. Yeah, Bastiel. And then I... Laughing. Yeah. Slightly in the corner, just like, oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> would you be laughing, though, or would you have clicked to what she's yeah, actually you... saying, though, Crumber? Like, what, sorry? Have you I mean, listened? This is Crumber, so. <laughs> I mean, no, because to me, like, I don't... I, I wasn't... Was I present? You know the contingency was if you yeah, failed. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. said You that. know oh, that I she's basically everybody. just said yeah. that yeah. I've nuked your friends. Yeah. Um, Okay. Um, or at least that she would ask the red to take a part in all of this, which mostly involves okay, carpet bombing. Let's circle back to me later. Um, no, let's circle back to you now. It was a really quick circle. I might call it a dot. <laughs> okay. Um, Crumba, is there a table nearby? Sure. Crumba is going to... Smash. Smash his hand <laughs> into the table... <laughs> And doing that, he's going to see if that triggers as well. Oh. No, because your hands don't count as melee weapons. The table with your axe. Well, bam! I actually don't even know if that's true. They might actually count as melee weapons. That might have been errated. Um, because they're like any more melee than fists, right? I mean, you say that. It's unarmed. Yeah, yeah it's an unarmed melee weapon. As long as it's on the table, you're fine. Yeah. Yep. I am. Um, but anyway, yeah. I, I'm basically trying to see if uh, GGW gifts still work. Mm. So remember we had that conversation about drinking from the cup? So you were just happy to go all in on that? Um, I'm, it's just a little sip. <laughs> Improved events, mate. Just a little sip. An 11th level <laughs> power. Mm. Um, yeah, it does seem to like trash the table. Does the divine smite proc? No, nope, because the table is not a creature. <laughs> Motherfucker, so it isn't. Um, You're never going to get me on rules, buddy. I got you on this. Fair and square. <laughs> like that oval table you destroyed. Okay, anyway, <laughs> we'll come back to that. Table's destroyed. Crumbar's pissed off. Maratus is now standing and staring at Crumbar like, What in the hell are you doing? What sorry. am I missing? And I'll, I'll just kind of, you know, 
glance at Isla and I'll just be like, I will just gesture as in, it's all fucked now. I'll be I'll like, just... Do you want to tell her or shall mm. I? I'd probably just Him. burst in at that point, be like, It's the red, the, the red. What? That thing? Um, they're going to destroy us. Is that what you're telling me? That, the, that now that Magna's gone and the wards are compromised, the five are just going to seize an opportunity? To try and close the abyss. To close the abyss? Oh yes, I'm sure the Red is totally amicable about what he does and does not kill Isla. Are you fucking stupid? Whoa. Uh, hang on. That thing kills everything in a two-mile radius. <laughs> I'm mm. going to talk when you're going to shout at me. We were gone. Things that aren't... was the contingency? To destroy? There is nothing else that's fucking worked. People try what they can. We've all... Magna went to hell to try and find something. It wasn't a first plan. We were the first plan. And we weren't fucking here. How do we fix this? Can we fix this? Don't know. But there's a potential in an hour at the harbor. I if we don't burn anywhere. all of our bridges. I'm not going near that creature. Then you can stay here. I will stay here and I'm going to wait for my mother. Wait till mother hears. <laughs> Sorry. Rasira gets up and says, "What? What is all this shouting? Why? What? What's happened?" Is he like rubbing sleep from his eyes? It appears that the red is now involved, Master. You know, like you know, finishes rubbing his eyes and looks at him and goes, "Sorry, it sounded like you said the red is involved." He, like, yes. Like pulls like you know something out of his ear as if cleaning it. The Red is now involved in all of this, somehow. In all of what? Speak clearly. Like, what do you mean? Like, and he looks at everybody like he's trying to force himself more awake more quickly. Isla? I look at Rasira. <laughs> Rasira blinks. Uh, um... Is he aware we were gone two weeks, or did he go straight to sleep? I mean, he was with you, right? Um, He's aware. He came back with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we told him before he went to sleep or cool. something, didn't we? Cool. Bumbar is going to kind of like take a walk up, stand up, brush his table off of him, uh, walk over and just say, like, Maratus. The Red's been involved since the beginning. Vishal, the one that was opening all the hellholes around, uh, not Omen, where is it? Cadence? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, around Cadence serves the Red. The, the corruption in my uh, clan was caused by the Red. He has had his hand in this for what for quite some time. It's only now he's decided to show his face on the orders of his sister. Which tells you what, Crumba? That the blue is not on our side. Rasira like puts his hands up and just claps them together and Can can someone bring me up to speed? What has the Red done? Well, nothing yet, but... How, um, do, how do we know I, they I have done anything? Know, but I would have thought, you know... Might well, what, who, like, who, who has said this? Is there somebody out there riling up misinformation? We should put a stop to this immediately before those riots. I think I no, no one knows outside this room. Explain it to him. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So we play our agency moment there for Yaila, just mm -hmm. every second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have a whole little voice in my head saying, if he finds out, I have to kill him. Mm. So. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'm having that moment. <laughs> like, oh. Um, could you say, he'd probably, he'd probably figure it out, but you could say that, like, Cyril. No, no we friend. do not mention the name Cyril. <laughs> that's the one we don't mention because that's the name she uses as governor. That's the mistake we made last. I made last time. Same. Um, we what? had connections to the blue, and she was concerned or something. Yeah. What if, right. Here mm -hmm. we go. What if we just run away? <laughs> Isla is seriously considering. Does anyone have? Modify just modify memory again. It's fine. Mm -hmm. totally yeah, it went so well last time. Just do it again. It'll be fun. <laughs> oh. mm. Um. Mm. Do you, you yeah. need any more time in the agency yeah. moment, or are you good? No, no. Good? Mm. I would probably stay silent for like an awkward amount of time. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Mm. I, oh, I'm in contact with the, the blue, and she understood we were trying to close the abyss, but said if we failed, she would seek other measures. And we were gone for two weeks. Kind of like nods and the very world like collapsed. severely and like rubbing like his uh, beard with his hands as if almost trying to like that really just pull your hand down your face and stretch your face a bit as if oh dear god mm. so yep. he does that and then <laughs> he looks at you and says are you um telling me you're an agent of the blue and you were essentially sitting on um her whims to summon her um the red We didn't think we'd go missing. He puts his hand up as if he likes talking. About it. So the yes is the answer to that. I see. Okay. Um, I I kind of gesture at my whole self you just, as I normally do when people question this. Shit. He just like leans at his hand out like a chair slides awkwardly and that horrible scraping noise over to him and he just sits down. Yeah, that's fair. And he just like he just like sits tapping like his lips with his finger like a shaky hand. And he says, there's so much to do. But, um, 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 right. Uh, okay. There is, we can, it's, and he just looks at everybody with like very like wide eyes and he says, what do we do? <laughs> Well, not to throw you under a bus is not a word in this, no. this universe. Uh, <laughs> not to throw, throw you under, under the, the wagon. Because train, trains are a thing. Yeah. <laughs> not to push you in front of the train. <laughs> but I'm not fully up on hierarchies, but I think you're it. Okay, like, looks at you and he goes... Forgive me, um, Isla. Uh, it might be some time before I put weight to your words. And it kind of just does a tight-lipped nod in your direction, and then kind of goes back to like his thinking, tapping his lips. I kind of shrug in that way. Well, yeah, I didn't really put much weight to yours either. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he says, kind of looks up at like Marias and says, "Was there any?" Um, word from um, the people of Horizon that I may or may not have slept through. What has happened? Uh, Nothing. We've been in here with you. However, Isla says that we're meeting somebody in an hour. Now, if Isla would be purveyed to give us that knowledge, it may be someone else who works for the Blue. Send for what left we have of our ability, um, our guards, 
to apprehend this person, bring them forth. Why, did, why did you wait in here? Where what, I asked you to find out information from the people of Horizon. Was there honestly he nothing? Did. I just he, he puts his hand. He, he just puts. He just puts his hand up to Marask as, as if to like you know maybe move you to his line of sight so he could see Serene. Uh -huh. um, was, yes, you were saying. Um. Well, we have we have these reports from um, the Prismatic Order to give to you about everything that's been happening. Um. And I kind of just, they're right. on the table, and I kind of just kind of pick them up and then just give them to him directly. Yeah, and he, st say, he starts like looking through them, and as like he's kind of like he's trying to like speed read um, a lot of them. Yeah. I am as he's flicking so through. Like, summarize. And maybe you get a bit startled, but a couple of the books that are falling, like maybe like ten or so, just fall. Oh god. He's, yeah, and he's them. and he's just obviously started like you know flicking through more of them. Um, yeah. And he looks up and goes, um, right. Go and, then, and find who this source is of Isla's. Um, find out if they know anything or can help or information is our ally here, Maratus. Um, we need information. We don't have much time. I understand that you have a lot of uh, expression normally, Moratus. I would perhaps find a sturdy wall and make good use of it and then make use of the time efficiently. We don't have a... We, mm, mm. And he just starts like... Oh yeah, he's already lost to his own like gloom. <laughs> um, We've already run out of time. No, because we we still breathe, Moratus. Now do as you're told. And he stands up and sets the papers I down and goes, "Where, where is the?" And he looks at you and he goes, "You have heard from Lunaria." She's on her way. This is good. Then you should not worry. As to her yet, the fact that we are able to have this waste of time is testament to what we should be making use of, Moratus. And he takes like a big deep breath, and he like just like exhales over you, like in the sense of like just like you know making sure he's just you know not listening deliberately. He says, "Where is the head of the Prismatic Order? Do you know?" And he says that to a Serene. No, I don't think we learned that, did we? No, he no. Just said that he would, she was busy, and mm -hmm. um, so yeah. But no, we we spoke to the lol. Um, he just nods. He said that that she was busy. We didn't get to see her. That's worrying. Galol is like third in line of the Primatic Order. Okay, that must mean they're very stretched. Thank you. And he just starts muttering away like facts that he's clearly like, you know, aware of as if he's like doing lots of filing in his head. And he says, ask, who's Galol? Yeah, they were, met, they were met last time. Yeah. I, um, okay. And then he, he kind of like, he looks at him and goes, why are you all still here? Go be useful to me, please. And perhaps our last moments. Um, we are not dead yet. And he like shoes everybody out. As we go, I'll kind of turn to Maratus and say, I, I know how difficult it is going to be for you, but I think it's, it's time to put up that, that wall a bit again. The mask will be firmly in place and I shall not remove it. That I promise you. Mariel just like walks with you and just puts his hand on your shoulder and just pats it. Thank you. He doesn't say I wish I could believe they were all like you. Oh, they're not. I don't know. I think you're the odd one out and I'm thankful that there's at least one of you. Cool. Can you imagine if there was two of me? I'd I rather they were all like you. Imagine we less dead bodies. I suppose then it could be one could be called Moreno and one could be called Galactier, and it wouldn't be confusing then. Oh. That's not confusing, dear. 
And he kind of like, he just nods as she's like walk away, and then we see um, like Rosira just start like you know chanting the words for like sending spells and various other things as the you know doors close, um, and he goes about his you know business of trying to salvage a world. Yeah. So you guys are outside the palace. Mm -hmm. What's mm -hmm. the plan, team? Let's have a wee small player agency moment. <laughs> What's the plan? Find the thing, kill the thing, do the thing. What? What? <laughs> what? We're not gonna go kill the blue. No. No, I just said the thing, not the blue. I'm was so tempted at some point to be like, "Well, you made her governor," but I don't know that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> that is not a thing Isla is aware of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, oh, but yeah, I suppose we'll go. Yeah, I think Isla would <laughs> let everybody know that we have an hour and which we should is, do anything we much, want to do. It is pretty much you guys the time it to takes. the harbour now. Okay. Yeah, like yeah, you could do stuff on yeah. the way that yeah. doesn't take up too much time. Like if you want, oh, can I also just pick up this? Probably is the answer. But ultimately, you <laughs> probably want to start heading there. Like sending yeah. more messages to to Mumsy or something in bird language. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna keep my spell slots. Thank you. Slots, <laughs> <laughs> um, holy water, the frying. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yep. Uh, as I said, you probably need crumbar for that here, uh, most likely, or I don't know how much that would cost. It's a weird thing to price, isn't it? Um, okay, I'll just get a flask of regular water. Then. Like, you could just visit the Brotherhood of Pa, right? They probably have a font. Out the front, <laughs> just, just dip Wait, it. Just scoop as I've we go. I thought we were all together. You're all, all together. together. Yeah. So, I'm here. What do you need? I don't want to do a whole ceremony and set up some bullshit right now. But I need holy water. Yeah, so just a swing on the way past kind of thing. You could have that conversation on the way though, right? To the harbour being like, yo, mm -hmm. hook me up with some holy water, bro. You know, just wink at it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yo, hook me up with... Uh... But I just closed down my character sheet. Because <laughs> apparently that is how you get to your spells. <laughs> 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 On the way, yeah, you know. Look. If, would we pass like a fountain or anything? Uh, sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I need twenty-five gold pieces worth of powdered silver. There we go, <laughs> and it begins. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, just spend the gold. You can have the powdered silver. Go buy a shop and get it and use yep. it straight away. <laughs> yep. Um, well, ceremony done. Well, it takes you an hour. So. Got a holy water from the blessed water. I don't imagine that's going to take. Can too you do long that while walking? Sure. Why not? <laughs> I love it. Duration instantly. It fills. Casting time. It fills hour. the awkward silence. Fuck. Yes. Yeah. We've got an hour. It's so I'll, I'll let you do it on the go. Right? Oh, how it, how much can you holding like a <laughs> flask of water and praying to it? Really, like how much does that take out? As long as somebody's <laughs> willing to say, "There's a step now here, Crumbar. Don't trip." Yeah. yeah, just somebody hold my elbow and just guide me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not too tightly so it'll interfere with the somatic components. <laughs> so I end up with no oh. way home. Um, On the top. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. But that's fine. That's, as I said, it's going to be about an hour to get to the, the harbour anyway. So yeah. as long as you want to dedicate your time to that. Did someone actually spend the money? I'm assuming oh. it was Bastille's money we were using. Which really means he's spending oh. half of a... I would money. have just thrown money at somebody. If someone says the word Moreno, money, so okay. I would still try and throw money. I'll take the money. Okay. I would just <laughs> throw money. I. Yeah. A very stressed manner. Doesn't Crumber have all the money? Uh, I have my own, like my okay. own portion <laughs> of the money. <laughs> but yes, Crumber still has, as far as I know, <laughs> the magic lockbox. Yep. Oh, oh, no. The rest of the money. Yep. I mean, oh, I yeah, do, I do have. It's got like 140 yeah. platinum and the rudder. Yeah, I should update my uh, money because I've only got 10 platinum. You can't open that. <laughs> yeah, so you forgot the box. You don't have to. <laughs> you have to if you can convince somebody there's 140 platinum in the mystery box, they can't open. Yeah. 
Yay. <laughs> Maybe someone will help you. And a rod of power. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Besides ceremony, is there anything else happening in that hour? Yeah. So, uh, as we, if we go... <laughs> Actually, does yeah. ceremony work? So, besides ceremony, does huh. anything else happen in that hour? Yes. Okay, yep, perfect. <laughs> if As we go past a fountain, um, I'd like to kind of slyly, well, if no one's kind of looking, throw in Moreno's ring. Right, okay. Um, you can do a wee uh, sleight of hand if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? Sleight of hand. Yeah, oh, not yeah. great. I mean, whether or not they know what you're doing, they might just look like somebody putting a coin in a fountain, right? So, yeah. who knows? You can do that, yeah? Just oh. bloop, bloop. Yep. Um, it does mean that MD with a passive perception would have noticed her at least flick something into a fountain, so... That's... Why did you have his ring? Because I asked for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. And you're just chucking that away. Cause... Also, I don't think you should waste this hour on holy water. You could give somebody a coming of age ceremony. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> it's so um, ridiculous. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, Scott, I, I wanted to. I want his. I don't know if you were here last week when we found um, the ring is a divination ring. So, like, they that his thruple can like find him. It's what. So, Thrupple. He's he's got he's like kind of married to two other people. Oh right, okay. okay. Um, so I I asked for to look at the ring, saw it was magic, and was like, hmm, this is probably he's probably being tracked. I'm going to eat. It this might it might be for on. it might be for nice things, but then I just asked for it and he just gave it to me, <laughs> throwing it away. <laughs> yeah, because Moreno landed a week early. I don't know if that has landed with Scott yet. But Moreno yeah. got to Horizon a week oh, before you right. guys. I thought, I thought we'd like just abandoned him, so we went to find. Well, we didn't yeah. find other people. We, he broke their house. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because he appeared as a dragon briefly. Yeah. Um, what a legend. Yeah. But yeah. So I just, I just want to get rid of his ring. I don't want it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, anything else then happening in that hour? Um. Uh, are there any smiths in this city, or is it like more people don't get their hands dirty here? That would be like, oh, like I mean, we know there's smiths in this city because you've spoke to them before. Oh yeah, I forgot we're not in High Rock, we're in Horizon. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's go to the Canis then. Okay, but that go. that would need to happen. That would take time, right? That would take time. That isn't just like stopping to a shop and saying, give me some silver now, stat, chucks gold at them, picks up bag of silver and runs. Um, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's like a whole uh, detour. And like, Crumbar is going to need to be like concentrating for that whole hour to cast that spell. So he's the one that knew again. It's not to say that, yeah, but if you're going to be like, can you also take us there? He's going to be like, well, no, actually, I can't because I can't look where I'm going because I'm busy chanting to a bottle of water. I literally just need any blacksmith to buy things from. What do you need? Uh, I don't need you to ask me if there's blacksmiths. I need you to tell me what you need. I need glass uh, globules. Glass globules? Yeah. Mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, I'll go to like a glass blower or something. Sure, yeah, there's obviously going to be a glass blower in a city that would need lots of glassware. Right? It's a yeah. magic city. Of course you're going to need glassware. Um, yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. Any more details you want to like give me here, or am I going to play twenty questions with you? Because then you um, I want to twenty. I, I want enough to, to cast a weapon, a uh, spear, a spear, even a spear. You want a spear of glass? Yeah, I'll just get the globules and then fabricate them myself. Okay. Okay. Um. Sure. Like. All right. I spend some gold on that. Okay. How much? I don't know. Much glass do you want? Enough uh, black fang spear. Okay. Prop. So, Ooh. like, probably a lot if you're melting it down and having to deal with loss. So, at least a couple of windows worth of smashed glass, I suppose. <laughs> like, just steal it. It's yeah. fine. Don't know. The world is on fire. Let's just see 50 gold. 
50 gold's worth of, like, you know, refined glass. Yeah. Done. There you go. Bastille has no money again. Yay. <laughs> okay. Well done. I ask Crumbar nicely. I also have 500 extra gold from Marino that he also just gave me. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, the party isn't, like, poor. We know this. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, it's Moreno's money that I'm keeping for him. Uh huh. Of course. Just <laughs> <laughs> and willing to spend it for him as well, it seems. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, anything else happening? So, Bastille yeah. disappeared and came back with a bag of glass and also a bag of silver powder. Um, Crumbar started chanting for the remainder of the journey. Somebody helped guide Crumbar. Anybody else get anything they want to do in the, the walk towards the harbour? Which also includes stopping to wait on transport gates. Um, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, Isla definitely just like cools down a wee bit. Mm. <laughs> And just cast the gust spell swore. on herself. Lots. Yeah, yeah. Just like Stout tries to smooth down the static in her hair, um, but probably doesn't say anything because she's now feeling incredibly awkward because she definitely didn't mean to scream that. Mm. That wasn't her plan. Um, and now feels a bit like shit. He mm, could have handled that better, but also nah. Mm. Oh yeah. So, Fair. panic. Oh yeah, yeah. So I, she might, she might try like mouth at Serene, like, like, did I fuck up? <laughs> well, um, well, not, not really. Maybe, maybe a little, but I will do. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. I didn't mean to shout. It was, yeah, it's still okay. Out. You were stressed. It, no, you didn't. You didn't mean it. Well, you did, but... Mm, I kind of... Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the worst part. I did, okay. I did kind of mean it. And I, and I kind of nudge Moreno to do give his, like, patented, like, shoulder hold. Well, I think he'll be with Moretus at this point if you just want to have this oh, conversation, okay. like, okay. at the back yeah. of the, the walk. Yeah, it makes sense. He'd be with Moretus, yeah. Then, 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 mm -hmm. I, then I would yeah. kind of put my, put my hand on a shoulder and just... We'll, we'll work it out. It, it'll be fine. We can do this. It just seems like a, like a, we weren't going to fail. So it didn't really matter. <laughs> now it does, because we fucked up. Well, Omen fucked up. No, fuck it's, Omen. No, it's not. A, yeah, fuck <laughs> Omen. It's not our fault. I really didn't like that place. You get some funny looks yeah, when you say that. Um, just for <laughs> no. the people around you. <laughs> Yep. Right. We, yeah, didn't, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. <laughs> but also, <laughs> I don't know the place, but that doesn't mean I wish it was gone. Yeah. There's some people sweeping yeah. outside their shops and going, tutting as you are walking by. Oh. <laughs> 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 yep. Do you ever wish you just didn't leave? Well, no, your village like was how no, wholesome. I, I, I kind of, I kind of had to. Yeah. I feel that. I kind of wish I hadn't had to, though. Yeah. It was. It was easier. And I, I'll, I'll try and kind of be a bit more like comforting, like maybe ask her some like nice things about her home. So just like, what, what was, what's okay. your home like? So in the nicest possible way. Yeah. Don't take offense okay. to this, Isla Speed, or Hannah. Speeder. Right? No, 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 no. <laughs> Roll animal handling for me, Serene. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it so much. <laughs> okay. Um, how do you feel as sixteen comforts you, um, Layla? I feel. I feel like I. I feel like she's trying to comfort me, and that comforts me. And I'll. I'll say this: we did have a role at this before, where Arya did this with the crowd of civilians that were captured by like Crumbar's like warped tribe. I let her roll animal handling to try and like calm the crowd so it wasn't just a bunch of other bandits like, you know, kidnapping them from the people that had already kidnapped them. You know? So I, I felt like calm her down as if she's a mm, brain horse. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I feel that would totally help me. <laughs> just like stroke my hair. I have yeah. a sugar cube and just like sugar. Yeah. And like performance I'm just in. feels so disingenuous, <laughs> yeah. right? Like I feel like if you were going to roll that instead of like this, so yeah, mm. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Just I like that, it. Just that handling check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just cross out the animal. It's fine. Exactly. 
Hey, I was going to say humans are animals too, but mm, tiefling. So. Mm-hmm. And a fur bog, so yeah. we're... Yeah, it's fun. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. While you're having that moment as well, uh, Maratus, anything you want to do on the, the way from the hour between the palace? And oh, the he's forest? just quiet. He's just quiet. Okay. He's trying to get mm-hmm. himself in the, the headspace. Mm-hmm. Unless Moreno interacts with him, he's probably not going to talk. I think Moreno hasn't moved his hand, so your shoulder's probably getting really cold. Um, yeah. So at some point, you'll end up maybe with frostbite if you leave it for the hour. Um, but he hasn't said anything, he's just pleasantly walking, but like occasionally just like patting your shoulder and then like you know letting it rest for a bit and then when he remembers, patting your shoulder again. Um, I'll give it like half an hour till it's like mm-hmm. probably starting to damage my clothes and yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. And I'll just carefully move it and just like link my pinky with his. Right, okay. As if I yeah. still need the connection. Uh-huh. But this is starting to sting. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he just lets so all that just... happen. Yeah, like he just he's just present for the most part. Um which is maybe the title of his autobiography. Um so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> present for the most part. Yeah. If that's the case then, I yeah, you just get to the the harbour. Um obviously there is a lot of bustle at this harbour. It's a very busy harbour. Um, like you step out of the big kind of you know magical portal gate thing into like what feels like proper fresh sea air. Um, given that a lot of the environments within Horizon are like very well crafted, but if you know magic enough, it, you can tell it's artificial. Um, or even to the point where there's probably like a level of magical background noise as well. Um, to make it feel like all of the overlapping regions are connected. Um, rather than being like weirdly segmented magical pockets. So when you step out, it it has that more genuine feel hit you guys, like the proper cold air of the the sea breeze and whatnot. Um, And as you look up, it's hard not to see the, you know, almost faint rainbow effect, Um, almost kaleidoscopic in a way, Um, from the big blue diamond above the city, heading straight towards, you know, the middle of the sea. Yeah, and like people just. Is it your night? Uh, it's like probably afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Um, but Horizon's a, like a major city anyway. Like it's as I said, this is where the magic, like you know, business as it were, is like this is where people come to study primarily. Um, said Brotherhood of Power here. It was Justoria, so a lot of people just like it and travel here because Justoria. It's quite a nice place to live if you can afford it. Um. As you can imagine, there's a lot of space here. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, besides that, there's a bit more of a purpose to people being in Horizon than, say, Glitterhagen. Um, Glitterhagen's the trade capital, um, so people go there for various reasons, and it's a bit more heavily mixed species, um, in the sense of it's more natural mixed because it's those who want to make money with money and stuff and such because of the trade say. Horizon ended it magically inclined or otherwise go there or ended it wants to go and like do the royal tour or something i guess to check in with Justoria and blah 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 would go there um etc but beyond that like it's mostly just like maybe it's even people that have been like moved shall we say displaced um just a lot of people traffic uh coming and going lots of full boats as well um yeah Obviously, several of the uh, harbour side pubs very busy, uh, including our favourite one, the Maiden Voyage. Um, yeah. What's the plan? Is it just like stand around? Yeah, I feel that was all the instructions I was mm-hmm. given. Uh, 100% was. I could yep. be there, <laughs> ready to go. We weren't given a boat or. No. Just go to the harbour. And be yeah. I haven't also said that because I feel like Morales would kick off. So I'm kind of leaving out the <laughs> be ready to travel bit. In a kind of like mm, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Morales. <laughs> oh no, you're you're pretty damn accurate. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I'm learning to pick my battles. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm maybe not the one to fight that one. So. Yeah. I um, yeah, and I think. Maybe you just find, like, I know, some, like, I guess, 
postings or something to like lean against while people are like moving up and down and doing like you know generic you know NPC behavior that's been pre-programmed. So doesn't go horizon. Yep, yep, yep. So everything goes about their business as you can expect. Um, can everybody make a charisma save? Oh, save. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Do yeah. clerics even get that as a proficiency? Uh, so, Serene, you're old charisma. It's because I get it as a save as well. Right. Um, but I have to add it as a. That's okay. Does that work? So, is it a seven have, or not? I have a Christmas save if you want. It's the same <laughs> thing. Okay, but that's a better roll. No, I'll, t I'll take I'll take the actual roll. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah. As in the okay. save, I'll take the actual. Sorry, one, yeah, yeah, it's in it's in my um my custom ones I've got. Ah. So. Okay. Is the twenty two accurate or is it different? Yeah, yeah. It's it's plus okay. three. Okay. Cool. As long that's as that's wrong. fine. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Ryan. Does the aura protection work? Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? Because keep in mind, Scott, whether or not you would know it works is a different story, right? Like me saying do a charisma save to somebody, but you don't know why it's happening. If they were within range of you getting that or not, that's just on me to say they made the save or not. Does that make sense? Like there's nothing that would say, Crumbar, your okay. thing worked. Does right, that make sense? Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's a it's a tricky one. I get what you're trying to do. I do. I get it. I get it. But, you know, a third time's the charm, as they say. Let me meta, motherfucker! <laughs> I'll just meta harder, okay? Um, meta harder. Um, okay, cool. Well, Ayala, that's perfect, thank you. Uh, <laughs> also, absolutely disgusting, what the fuck? My god! Like <laughs> Sometimes the dice oh, help the story. <laughs> Dear Christ. Um... Yeah. Okay. So Charisma based Casper. <laughs> oh my god. Crumbar, Isla, and Serene. Welcome to the Dream Team. Um I, Bastiel and uh, Maratus. Alas. You can see this happen slowly, but as you are like looking around or like busying yourselves or whatever, um you slowly see like Almost like static electricity building up between things all over the harbour. Oh, yeah, like a massive build up of like charged electricity starts sparking between things. Um, very quickly there is a dark cloud that forms overhead, very, very quickly. And then very suddenly there's a lot of blue energy crackling off everything in a moment. And in the same moment that happens, there's a bolt of lightning that hits right in front of the group. Um, people that can act are the ones that made the save, which were Crumbar, Isla, and Serene. Everyone else merely gets to observe. Um, okay. And Cerule appears after the bolt of lightning, obviously. And her eyes are crackling um, violently as she stares at the group. And she says... Do you wish them to come with you? Or are you wishing to travel with me alone? And she just addresses you, Isla, straight away. Oh. Yep. No, I feel bad. I don't, didn't ask him. Um, and she then looks at Crumber and says, You are coming. Um, I'll just ask. Where, you... where are you taking us? You will see. Isla, are they coming or not? I can't I hold best... this harbour forever. We... I think it best we stick together. And she just like snaps her fingers and then these are all oh, like... Oh, fuck off. Sorry. So, Sorry. everybody vanishes with a massive surge of electricity running through your bodies. Um, and then you're hit with intense heat. Dry air in those who care about the air quality, which is probably everybody but Bastiel. <laughs> um, There's no way I can counterspell this. No. 
attacked. Fuck. Nope. I will probably throw you like an apologetic look. Can you see why I had people make a save first? <laughs> it's like, yep. Um, it just so happened that the person who's like basically patron this was got the 20 fucking nine. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. So, yeah. Like, again, you appear in what looks like. It looks like glass you're standing on. And then the. Oh, yeah. Did that. Yeah. Yeah, I, to I told you, man. That's why I laughed. Um, oh. Yeah. And then, like, the kind of like desert air parts, as you can see, like, Cyril just holding her hand up. Um, and like the the wind is swirling around everybody, um, in the sense that you know the kind of dust cloud she's parting for everyone, and then uh, she just says, "Welcome to the wastes." Send me back right you now. You don't even finish your sentence. You're already gone. Mm. Thank fuck. Yeah, like she doesn't even like let you finish your sentence. Just like no time for that action. So wait, you're good. Back. You've been sent back to the harbor. Well, the we harbor? don't know. She's she's been sent. She's been sent, but I did say back. So yeah, you can take um, from that what you will. So the harbor <laughs> is going to have a wee gander about and then turn and go. The wastes of what? You'd know what the wastes are. It's that oh, massive desert area. Yeah. What massive desert? The desert. The bit around the... South of oh, the Golden oh, Citadel. Yeah. And yeah, the, east of yeah, the Abyss. That bit there? Yeah. Yes, yes. Sorry, I thought like you were meaning like she was being like dramatic. She is dramatic, that's all she knows. No, but you know what I mean? It's like, she's oh, a, this is... She's a dragon. Old. All her stats are like 20 in drama. Drama. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna just say that or just like point me towards the abyss. She just shakes her head and she says, You don't get it, do you? Look beneath you. Oh The sand is glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the, it. The red has burnt on it. Yeah. everything on the abyss. Is glass. I just remembered how glass was made. Yeah, glass and sand, like fire and sand. Mm -hmm. So, Grumber, any reply after that? What happened to my people? She then uh, shakes her head and she says, The abyss is uh, just a little over a hundred miles that way. She just points, obviously, west. And she says, We cannot get closer than this safely. The way we travelled. But it is worse. Come with me, Crumbar. The rest of you? Are you coming, or do you wish to remain? I'm coming. Of course we're coming. Then again, like, she just looks to Serene. Um. Yes. Kind of is. He is already... No, Rhino's not with you guys. <laughs> okay, cool. no. He's then hit with another bullet lightning. And then a... Yeah, he's a again, immediately like, deposited on like another kind of like sheet of glass. Um, she like throws up her hands again because that's what she does, you dramatic. Um, all the kind of like sandstorm like kicks away. In the distance, and it's quite a distance still, you can see the runes of the Golden Citadel. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> uh, one job. Yep, well... <laughs> if GGW went back there to lick his wounds, he's dead. Hello, new paladin of Celeste. Welcome, <laughs> brother. Yeah. So anyway... Crumbar, you need a so, new god. <laughs> so anyway, let's not rile up Crumbar and let's let Scott actually RP his character in the moment, shall we? So, Scott. Yeah, I need a minute. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cyril doesn't say anything. I... She just like, has cleared obviously the sky so that you can actually see what it is. 
Um, but she won't say anything, she'll just let you, like, absorb it. I'm gonna turn to Susan. Uh, that... To Susan, yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's the stenographer, she's been here the whole oh, game! I'm going to turn to Sarit. no, it's not Sarit, it's a... It's a roll. It's a roll, thank you, I'm like, how the fuck do you put it? I'm gonna turn to Sarul. I'm just asking something. Is the order gone? She looks at you and she says, I told you I don't know. She like points west again, because if there are any left, they will be there. If not, you remain. So the order lives. She, like, I am going to... she just steps closer to you and like, I guess, I don't know, dramatic effect, would you have fell to your knees onto the glass surface, cracking it and looking at, you know, the runes off in the distance, or is that too much for Crumbar? Well, what you would probably see is Crumbar just become like um, a bulwark and just be like absolute, you just see everything tensing up. Yeah, because she's going to like, she's wanting to cross obviously the distance between the two of you and she just says... Perhaps you should embrace the words I shared you. If you are the sole one that remains, you should preserve yourself to rebuild the order. As she can tell as you tense up. <laughs> and I'll be like, as long as I draw breath, the order still stands. And make sure you keep drawing breath. You can see me like, I'd probably be at this point like, you know that kind of way I'm like gritting my teeth so hard that it's like, you can hear like it kind of scraping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'll just, at this point, I'm just going to kind of like pull out my, my mall and look at it and be, look at uh, Cyril. I know you've done a lot for us so far thank you if I am to rebuild the order this will need to be stronger may I have your blessing on it and I'll just kind of like hold hold it out to her she looks at it and looks at you and then she just kind of like kind of like does that kind of almost snort kind of like uh, or like exhaling of huh and then says a uh, so quick to seek another god. And she walks away. She didn't even compliment my workmanship. She didn't, no. Um, Fuck. Probably because it is reflective of the dragon empire that she probably hates. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So. I was just trying to get a um, Well, um, oh, 100% no, you were a looting bastard. Um, in the face <laughs> I of, like, like the trauma. most crumbar <laughs> thing. I'm I'm so sad. My my everything's dead. Let me let me just. Get... I'm so so sad. Can, can you, I have can a cookie? You that? Yeah, <laughs> I've been so brave. Can I have a cookie? You, you can you can expect craftsmanship with cra with shoddy tools. Hey, shy band's getting out. You should always ask. Oh, sorry, is that like a dig at Bastille? I can't tell anymore. Like. <laughs> Yeah. No. But anyway, so but yeah, like you're walking across this horrible glass. You're walking what, across this horrible glass surface. The rule kind of like leads you to mourn a little. Um, and she goes to uh, Isla and Serene and Bastiel, mm -hmm. and she says, "I am relieved to see that you are all still with us. I did truly believe you were lost." Uh, that is not our destiny. She raises an eyebrow and just like tilts her head in like agreement and just says, "So it seems." Hmm. Perhaps you should go and comfort your companion. Hmm. 
Yeah, I know what that means. Of like, oh. Oh. anybody? Serene, go for it. <laughs> oh, Um, yeah, I could just walk over to well, I don't really know what to say. Possibly right now. Well, uh, you know, Crombar's had a minute, so he's uh, relaxed off a wee bit. And just look at you and be like, kind of like a point to where the the order call was, and be like, time to rebuild. My hammer shall need to find some nails. Are we ready? Yes, we have to be. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, look to Cyril, I'll be like, Cyril, what is your plan here? What are you wanting us to do now? And like, she was like standing a fair distance away. She got like her hands like folded across her chest with like one, like her elbow in one of her hands as she's like cupping her chin. And she's kind of like just staring off at like, you know, the very shiny waists now. Um, and then she like turns as if, you know, you've caught her attention. And she just looks at you and then drops her hands by her side and goes, Plan! And she just starts laughing. She goes, You're the plan! Try and break, uh, like, a shard of the glass. That's yeah. Me. Yeah. Sure. You have a giant. You have a giant hammer. So yeah, it's not going to be difficult. Yeah. yeah. I just want to take a shard of the the wastes. Yeah. The, yeah. The glass. Keep in mind the order hall is still a law. Like I say, the order hall. That's because you said that the golden citadel, the city, is still way off in the distance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> um, I'll be like, Sir, uh, Sir o, can you get me get us closer? I want to get a full damage report. No. No. She just stares at you severely. <laughs> Why? But how can we not get closer? And she's like, can't you not feel that on your skin? And you can, like it's an incredible heat here. Like incredible. The fact that you oh, are I just thought that was because it was the desert. Uh, oh, I thought it yeah, was and you may have thought that. Abyss. But it is definitely, maybe when she says that, you are like, wait a minute, no, actually, it is really hot here. I did say it was difficult, like th there was that horrible feeling in your throat as well. Yeah, so I, again, I just assume desert. <laughs> yeah, but worse. Worse. Yep. Um, I desert take turned it, up to 11. I take it things are on fire. And she looks at you, and she goes, You don't understand. He's still in there. Oh. In the Citadel, or? No, in... Yeah. And she like yeah, that's the impression you get. Is that he's in the citadel. Yep. Oh. Oh. Can you send a message to get him out? She just laughs. She says, "You don't get it. It's done." So, how far away in miles would you say it is? <laughs> if, I mean, if we're significant. The... So not more a... than two. <laughs> not a walking distance. 
Mm, probably not. You'd probably die of exhaustion. And you know, as Crumbar, when you got within a certain range, you'd just burn to death. Even right, but as we Scott, don't know that. Yeah. As a Scott, would fire resistance even uh, fire immunity work against that? Regardless. Crombar doesn't know he has that. Right. Regardless of whether or not it would work. Okay. But considering the golden citadel was destroyed. I I swear to God, Ryan, if Jet is dead, I Hey. I'm not the one that went for a two week trip through nowhere. Um right, here's my plan. I'm thinking Unless you can't receive her, because I technically did. I'm thinking go to Santa Cora, find GGW if he's there. Hopefully he is, because Brian will be nice to us. <laughs> that sounds like me. Um, if we can do that, <laughs> at least that'll be another thing to tick. Um, we have. Do we have any way of contacting Magma? Sending can work across planes, but there's a... There's 5%. a chance it goes wrong. It's a yeah. low chance, yeah. It's low. Mm-hmm. So, try to contact Magna. See what he's, how he's getting on. Go to Santa Cora, if that's okay with people. Uh, Crumbar is going to kick up a merry fuck. Um, any other suggestions? Because we're kind of just, literally just standing in the desert. I want to... Can I say something to Cyril? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can I say? I would have a formal audience with the Red. Just looks at you. And she says, Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to enable it. She just laughs. She goes, You would be crushed. What makes you think you hold his interest? Well, that is why I... You're a simply... A, a formal. You're a simply a branch to snap. But you aren't. That's why we need you. Do I look like the red? You look like the key. There's like no movement from her. Story point attack. <laughs> I throw my Ultra Ball. Okay. Does that, does so, that do anything? this goes back to the part where what makes you think you're going to survive this encounter? Well, the fact that she would tell him not to kill us. <laughs> Doesn't mean you say he won't. That's kind of what she's telling you. Mm-hmm. Okay, like, okay. So right. he's basically a wild animal. Yeah, 100%. Like, okay. The engine right. of distraction. At no point has anyone said any different. They've never said he is a like a weird, calculating, manipulative, smart genius that just happens to be on fire. He can just be a thing that's really fucking old and thinks a bit and is sentient <laughs> as well. Yeah, which means if he thinks he's at the top of the pyramid, right, hmm. why would you matter? I want to see what he does. I want to see how he works. Okay. I think kills you. we've seen that. <laughs> That's we what I'm standing <laughs> in. No, we've not seen enough. <laughs> he looks at you and goes, The funny tin man talks. Cool. Squish. Now Can it's stop a talking. Of, a bit of a moment of, Oh, it's quite close. Mm. That's unusual. Oh. Hold on. Oh, you guys carry on. I need to read something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, while you're having a moment, uh, we'll cut back to Marata appearing in a boat lightning in just like a busy, bustling harbour, and Marino just waves at it and goes, Oh, hello. The rule. No, Moreno. No, yes, dear, right, I need to get back to... I need to get back to Rosera, I need to let him know. Come with me, and I just offer my hand out, and I'm going to start getting us back to um, Rosera. He just goes, okay, and he takes your hand. <laughs> Just start getting back to Rosera as quickly as possible. Sure. Yeah. Um, 
And I imagine he's probably still a freaking state when I get back up there. It's going to take some time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. If it took an hour to get out, it'll take at least an hour to get back in, depending on how the gates circle. I am. Um, so, I guess my question in that moment then is, with you guys in the desert, what's the plan up until the hour mark of you having taken in this? Because, you know, that's how much time I've got to kill till Maratus can get it to the pa- till Maratus can get to the mm-hmm. palace. Are there any, like, Godzilla footprints? No. Anything like that? The only thing you see is a plane of glass. Okay. And see anything below the glass? More glass. And like a weirdly inverted trapped serene. Oh. So maybe just your reflection. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily my Renho's not here to freak out about it. Why is there two of me? <laughs> <laughs> Like stamp on the glass a bit. Are you Moreno or are you Glactier? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he asked me oh, first. Like, Damn it. <laughs> how like deep the glass is? Is it possible to tell that at all? Hey, roll like, we'll investigate. Sure. Investigate is your one of the games. Oh no. <laughs> um. You can't see an end to it. It has that weird like mirror and mirror effect. Yeah. So beyond that you don't know how to do just very. That's oh. what you get. Yeah. It's deep. Mm. Yeah. Isla just looks like massively conflicted about everything. <laughs> but also like Wow, that's okay, cool. <laughs> Glass. Um I She doesn't want to be like yeah, the kind of person who goes, well, hey, maybe it means the abyss is, like, covered for a wee bit. Gives us some time. When you say that, I like, Cyril, Cyril says to you, Isla, she says, <laughs> this land that we are standing on was quite infested by things that had escaped those that fight at the abyss. Like... I'm trying to thinking back to the hell hole mm-hmm. and like that. Yeah. And that was one hell hole. Yeah. So the idea of what could have come out of the abyss. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't say that the, the red wasn't effective. I think like Cyril has like a funny look on her face when you say that and she looks at you and she says he is unfortunately what he is. That's probably as much remorse as you're ever going to get from her. Yeah. At no point does she yeah, feel like, maybe. fuck yeah, I did the right thing, though. Like, it, No. And at no point when she said to you, like, please don't fail, or I'll have to do this. Yeah, um, she, she yeah, it, was, it was a last resort for her as well. She hmm. just saying she, that. Yep. Yeah, she didn't look like she wanted to at any point. Yep. Yeah. Um... Uh, Yep, okay. so, yep, you got it, Bastille, yep. Yeah, I'll start smashing up the glass and I'll empty out my bag of nice glass. Okay. And fill it with the new glass. Okay. Well, are we actually filling up an hour? Because I'll just do the thing I was going to do with it later. No, like, just, um, just tell I, me what you're going to do. You've got like an hour of RP to fill. So, yeah, like just if it, okay. if everything you can do can happen within an hour, you may as well tell me now. Yeah, right, I'm going to make it, smash it up and. Not too finely, I want to kind of make a kintsugi of the Black Fang Spear um, with, uh, with Fabricate. How long does this process take? Because I feel like at some point somebody might have a conversation to say, if you're not like... 10 minutes. Okay, so does anybody comment on the fact that Bastille will start smashing the ground? No? Nobody? <laughs> it is kind of in response to, um, well, if there's no way you'll help me kind of get close to him, I'll just... Help myself. I think um, Isla would probably start to remember that the person we sent back to Horizon <laughs> is probably not. Yeah, we maybe shouldn't leave Morales alone for too long because <laughs> he doesn't have the relationship that we do <laughs> with Zerul, and he now knows that she is both the Blue and the Governor. I'm kind of being very careful not to smash them into too fine a chunk. And I'll say, you're, you're worried. 
Muratus is sandwiched between Rizira and his mother, who seems just as powerful, if I'm honest. I don't think Muratus could do too much damage, even if he wanted to. It's not in his... You hear Cyril say, not to you directly, but just out mm -hmm. loud, just, you'd be surprised what people are capable of. She more just says that to the void <laughs> of glass. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, just being as he's so new, maybe, and we've left him out of the loop. I, I've left him out of the loop quite a lot. We maybe shouldn't leave him to stew. I would yeah, drop everybody else like. I'd drop him a message for you, if that's what you need. <laughs> Bastiel, I, I I don't only talk to you because I want you to talk to other people. <laughs> okay, hold this, and I'll make a whole <laughs> new piles of glass. Yeah, I'll hold things. <laughs> <laughs> is it hot? Do I feel like this? This is. Uh, like it's the glass. Anything, anything that's lingering here long enough that would like channel heat mm -hmm. will heat up. Yeah. That's cool. mm. So, Rambar? Oh. Serene, yep. Yeah. Oh, is Gedbury just going to turn to um, Cyril and just ask, um, have, you, have you asked your, your brother to close all the hell holes? Like turns, because I thought Isla would have explained to you. She looks over at Isla. Were you not clear? I look, I look panicked on. Wait, which bit? The. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. The... And then, like, before you even answer, she'll then look back to you, Serene, and she'll say, The hell holes are difficult to close. I don't believe that simply pouring the sheer force of my brother into one would be enough to destabilize it. And Serene, um, I, it's looking around, it, it's maybe not that targeted. I don't think you'd wish this on your home. That's, yeah, please don't. Send him to animals. Yeah, she gives you a look that you can't see if that, like, yeah, there's a look. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. There is a look that you get, but she doesn't say anything. I think she just simply nods. I am. Um, and you can probably tell there's a lot of restraint in that nod. I am. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. And then she'll say, I think he is quite comfortable for the time being. But, given that the wards are not... And she like, almost like struggles to find the words as like her mouth like hangs open a little. And she obviously like, she swallows and says, Without Magna to correct the problem in Omen, I don't know if we can remove my brother. He's just gonna do whatever now is for free reign of. If the wards oh. reactivate, he will be trapped where he is, which is something. But currently, High Rock's ward is supporting Omens. I believe the others are too. That's what we saw in Horizon. Did Rosira return with you? <laughs> yes. She just gives you like a stare as if she's looking straight mm. through you. But it's not necessarily like you mm -hmm. does, it's really not aimed at you. Like you can just tell like she is clearly processing. Um, mm -hmm. says, mm -hmm. Perhaps you should encourage Rosira to give up on Omen and reactivate the wards in their default state. At least it would mitigate my brother. I would like nod. Like, okay, that's a thing. 
I will remember. I didn't know that was an option. Cool. She kind of just like but exhales. Through, like, she just exhales body language. Um, as if like trying to like focus herself. And she says, Have you informed Kandir? Uh, no. No. Just closes her eyes. You can hear see like the crackling at the sides of her like her eyelids. And she then just opens his it's just done. Uh Yeah, go for it. Uh yeah. If she if she's about to like be all frustrated, I'll probably cut her off before she can kind of No, she was just casting on. sending. That was all. Oh, okay. She just inf- oh, she was like, "Oh, have you have you updated my sister yet?" No. Okay. Cool. Bam. Done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. You can go. Anyway, then I'll just say, "Well, uh, Galactia knows." <laughs> She'll probably be like, "Oh, my fucking nephew." Yeah. <laughs> Shit about anything. <laughs> Useless bum. <laughs> and she's just looking. She says, "Yes, I imagine he would know, given that he has been with you. I assume." He still is. He's quite fond of us. She's just treats. She's like nodding in that way of going, okay. And? Like, is the kind of like look she's got. You can tell her attention isn't necessarily fully on you. She's clearly going, do I just fully panic or do I have a plan? (laughs) Is probably what's going on in her brain. (laughs) Well, surely you could make him use some of his tricks. He is old as it gets. Just looks at you. Is there a reason you're smashing the ground? Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, and I'll hold a shot up to my eye. Is it particularly? Um, is it kind of trashy, like marred by soot? Is it like garbage glass, or is it? No, it's flawless. Okay. Like it's actually really difficult for you to break it. Oh damn! Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> this. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a smith, and I am You don't need to treasure- apologize for your profession. This is a treasure trove. Your brother's handiwork is surprisingly fine. I have no idea what it would take to produce something like this on such a large scale. Malice. You consider him evil? I consider his actions without the care for those affected. She just waves vaguely around. People lived here, Bastille. Lots of people. Uh. And like, maybe the weight of that sinks in a little. And she like kind of closes the distance and says, How much of this glass do you need to be done here? Uh, has the ten minutes almost concluded? Because that'll be it, really. <clears throat> uh, yeah, kind of, kind of done if you want. Yeah, um... yeah I'll, I'll say, yeah, I think that'll do it. And uh, he kind of forms his kintsugi of the uh, the black bank spear with fabricate. That finishes off, and uh, I'll just I'll cast an enchantment on it just so it doesn't fall apart. I, I want it to be considered as magical weapon, so I'll just drop elemental weapon on it. Uh, sure. Do you want to put all this in chat? Yeah. It's hollow as well. It's kind of it's basically a biro pen, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm, I'll use my gold coins to um, to uh, kind of create that mechanism, that ballpoint mechanism. I'll put it black. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to put like fabric and all that nonsense in. Yep, just pop everything you're doing in. Or keep our log right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, when that last piece piece kind of clicks in, it's uh, it will just kind of ignite in flame uh, as I use an elemental weapon on it. Two seconds. Let's see. Okay, where are we here? Cloud object creates can be transmitted. Yeah. Basically, you're smashing the ground with a smashy thing to make a bigger smashy Keep thing. in mind, you can't use fabricate to make weapons. 
as it does say you can't use this to create items of or um, that ordinarily require a high degree of craftsmanship, such as jewellery, weapons, glass, or armor. Unless you have proficiency with the tools. Okay. Which I make. So I got blacksmithing and tinkerer's tools. No, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. That works. Um, the trick is to keep reading. I... There we go. That always gets a hundred percent. I have brought this up like at least twice before, and it always went. <laughs> but also because I'm proficient, I'm like, oh yeah, just read more. Don't, because it's usually at the end of a session you do this. Um, yeah. This is when I get like doxed online for it not being that. It's like people clip because see, it's only half an hour into a session here where you pull them up. I'm like, yeah, okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, we're not 108 sessions deep at all. Yep. Uh, yeah. So I guess you make a big glass spear that you. Tint with fire magic, I suppose. Yeah. For at least an hour, anyway. Um, I'll keep doing that. Until, that's fine, until yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, she then, like, walks over to Crumbar and then just, like, stands just in front of you. Like, I don't know if you were staring at the. off in the distance or whatever at the golden. Nice. Yeah. Adele or whatever, but she'll just stand right in front of your line of vision and says, How much longer do you require here? I'll just be like, I'm done staring at ruins. Let's go build something. She raises an eyebrow, but doesn't say anything. And then she says, Where do you wish to be sent? I'll just look at the rest of the party and I'll take a wee player agency moment. Uh, <laughs> Anna Cora, guys, we good with that? You need to go we, back to Horizon. Yeah, Morales is there. Oh, yeah, we, can't, yeah. we can't leave Morales. Yeah. Don't uh, worry about it. <laughs> don't worry. Go. Go to Santa no, Cora. No, no, Arya, no, 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 no. And Arya is somewhere in the narratively excused bench. Um, so, yeah. I think it's back to Horizon mm -hmm. first, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so we must assemble with the team again. Can you take us back to Horizon first? And then we'll go to Santa Cruz. Just a uh, nods. And looks at everyone and says, Perhaps I should wish you good luck. And then just these are all hit with lightning. Mm. Now my mouth is going to form in words likewise In like a sassy yeah. way yeah. Your brother going to kill you too <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Isla would be glaring at Crumba For treating her boss like a bus service uh, <laughs> But also like Feels like she appreciates the wish of good luck Yeah Cyril was worried I feel like we'll need it Cyril decided not to chew him out for a second Are you calling me a rune? Um <laughs> Which I know he wasn't meaning, but I feel like she'd maybe take it that way. Um, and then, yeah, you'd like, use like immediately like get dumped back at the harbour, and people kind of look at you awkwardly because you just appeared out of bullet lightning. Yeah, so while that happens, right, we can just say that that conversation everyone took the time it will take for Maratus to like head up to the palace. Um, right, Maratus, palace, wonderful Glactir slash Moreno. Yep, I just keep him in tow. Um, and as soon as I get into uh, Rissera's office, I'm just going to look for him. You don't get into Rissera's office. You, oh, great. You get there, but people at his like, desk outside um, are like staffed again. And they see you approach and they, they kind of stand up and says, um, he's, he's in a meeting at the moment. Um, can I? Is he expecting you? Yes, he asked me to go inquire of information, which I have for him now. Right, um, and you are? Murata Spinel. Thank you. Um, and I, you can just clearly see he just casts, you know, a spell, and then very quickly, I, like you know, a couple of seconds pass, and he says, um, please go in. I, and he like, he quickly opens the door for you. Many thanks, and I'll head in. And he like, he like, you know, you know, I'm just a guy in like, clearly robes that serves this, the palace. I am... Moreno just like puts a hand on his shoulder and does that comforting face to the guy. And as if, oh well. And then walks in. Um, the guy just looks confused, obviously, because he's like, what was that? Um, what is Moreno? <laughs> he's headed inside and you can see um, Prisma. I don't think you've ever met Prisma before. Um, 
Maybe? I don't know. Uh, you might have. Um, I've probably heard tales, at least. You'll know over 100%, yeah, but like whether or not you've heard uh -huh. or not. Um, kind of looks a bit like Jodie Whittaker. I believe that's like the, the description I gave long ago um, of her. Um, like a bit Jodie Whittaker, but like the back over here. You've seen, um, is it Kill the Kill? Um, yes. See the, the mother's hairstyle with all the rainbow through the back of it? That's exactly what Christmas oh, hair is. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. She has that hair. She fully embraced prismatic order. Um, okay. She has that, and it does have that glow to it. Um, so, like, her and Rosera are in, I wouldn't call it a heated uh, discussion, but it's definitely an uh, important and expedited discussion. Um, and then, like, you walk in, and, like, they, they both look, and, you know, Prisma stands up and just, like, nods towards you, uh, and, like, has immediately stopped talking because you've entered the room. Um, when she stands up, I'll give a bow to her. Um, forgive the intrusion. I can wait if you need. And Rosira is just like gesturing you forward and says, "No, no, this is important. We don't have time to waste on such things." Um, Prisma, um, Maratis Spinel, uh, likewise, uh, and an just points at Moreno and goes, um, "Moreno." Raises an eyebrow. My eye just waves. He's a friend of ours. Um, forgive me, the rest have been taken. Cerul. Cerul is the blue. She's taken them somewhere. I don't know where. I want to have an altercation for with like, her. Like, and she sent me back here. Prisma looks immediately shocked, right? Like, immediately, like, what the fuck? Like, hand grips, sword on belt. Like, I am... And like Rasira looks at him and goes, what, what, "What's all this nonsense about the governor being? What? Explain." I can only tell you what happened. We went down there, as you requested us to go and see this person who was of the blue. Uh, there was lightning. She appeared before us. She spoke with Isla, said, are you bringing them all? She said, yes, we were teleported. I didn't have much time to take in my surroundings. It was desert of some form. I Prisma just immediately says, excuse me while I check. And then, like, Rizzo just immediately just, like, nods. She is the blue. Oh, I think I cut out there. So, yeah, Prisma just, like, interrupts me and goes, let me go check on this now. I am, and, like, excuses herself very quickly. Um, and then, yeah, Rizzo, like, nods and goes, yes, please do. I, and then like he pushes like a chair out with like mage hand and says, Please sit, catch your breath, breathe. There is a dragon amongst us. How long has she been governor for? Kinda looks and goes Cyril's not the blue, Maratus. And he like he leans over and like takes your hand and starts patting it. Like he's like What what's gotten into you? <laughs> I <laughs> I am telling you what happened. Yeah. You sent us down there to meet. Remember? He looks at you. He goes, yes, you're going to meet some contact. Or oh, Vilas. Yes. Are you saying that the blue dragon turned up and said, blue. come with me to a desert? No, we went down there to meet someone who works either with or was the blue. So rule turned up. So either she is the blue or also works for her the way Isla does. Regardless. <laughs> he sits back and he's like thinking about it like, doesn't make any sense. Why would she be blue? Like what would... Why can she be governor? Why would she want to be governor? And he just starts like trying to go over like facts that he can process. Um, uh, yeah. I can barely make sense of this either, but I'm telling you what I saw. He puts like a what hand up, I heard. and he says, I "Understand, Mattis. A lot has happened. Um, we are missing. Obviously, two weeks. We are playing catch up. Um, very badly. It seems a lot of thing. A lot of pieces have been moving unsupervised. Um, if, as you can imagine, I'll, I'll need um, time to perhaps try and find all the reins I'm supposed to be holding on to. As you can appreciate, I am 
as out of the loop as you, it seems. Um, yes. Um, any any word on your mother at all? Um, um, she said she'd meet us here. Right, yes. Um, I'll inform my, my staff to make sure that she is brought here I, as soon as she is sighted. Um, just nods kind of to himself. Starts like muttering again, like, why would she be in, like, like of all the places, High Rock? Why would High Rock be important to a dragon? Why would that make sense? Like, what, what's the game here? Like, why would she do that? And I just, he's, he's away. Um, give me a second. I'm just gonna... Mm -hmm. Moreno gets up and just starts looking at the books that are floating around. And just, like, wanders the office. Maratus is, like... He kind of looks at his hands, and they are shaking. Mm -hmm. Like he realizes he's not, he's not holding it together that much more anymore. He's he's cracking, and he's not sure how he's doing this anymore. Oh, now he's cracking! <laughs> and if somebody says it once more, it'll be summoned. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Whoa. Maybe that that can be the thing that plays with the red. Um. Ah, calamari, suddenly. <laughs> um, and I'll just look over to Go, Sarah. say it. Say it once more, folks. Go for it. I dare you. <laughs> as I said, <laughs> as I said, calamari. Just send it to go play with the red. <laughs> it's calamari. Oh. Um, Actual size as well. I know, big, big, big unit. Absolute unit. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'll get rid of it. I'll look over to... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one of the reasons we can't use the water to get to omens. Mm. <laughs> Example 55. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just look over to her there and I'm like, how much is not what we think it is anymore? Everything is falling apart at the seams now. Are we going to have a world to fight for at the end of this? Sarah so like kind of shakes his head as if trying to come out of his own, like, you know, wherever he was. And he says... Is there a chance that we perhaps aren't in our world? Do you think this is some kind of nightmare that we have fallen into, Moratus? Feels like it. And he kind of just says that as if, no, no, tell me that's the answer. Is the vibe you're getting? Yeah. Uh -huh. And he says, well, there's no point worrying about things that we can't change. So we have uh, one of the original evil dragons as a governor. Um, luckily, I think I'm higher up the hierarchy, as it were, to. Um, take over, so that's a plus in our favour, you know. Um, yes, we will seek out our allies. That's what we'll do. Um, and we will we won't crumble. And he just looks at you, like clasps his hand in front of him as if yep, that's the plan. I have been in a war that doesn't end, Rosera. It looks a lot like this. And Kana shakes his head and he goes, No, no, Maratus. Stay in the moment. This is now. We will deal with one issue at a time. And we will fix things. That's what we'll do. That's what we're supposed to do. It's why I've trained you in the ways I have, and we will just start picking up the pieces. Might take a while, but there is a whole kingdom at my disposal, and we will we'll fix it. And just like kind of nods to himself. And he looks at you and he says, um, where, where, where is, where, where did everybody else go? We took them. I don't know where, it was some kind of desert. I didn't, I wasn't there long enough. And then, like, um, Prisma, like, bursts away. back in, um, like, to the point where, like, even Morena, like, jumps a little, the fact that she, like, kind of, like, bursts back in, runs and almost slides to a stop, and says, The wastes are gone. The citadel is gone. The red has breached the wards. 
as a wall go down one without the king. And that's where we end the session. No. Oh, oh no, this is oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So what would you like to call this session? Uh, <laughs> Ta -ta! Yeah, can we just call it? <laughs> um, so it's just on like a scale of one to ten. <laughs> ah! Right, code red. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> oh, I do just like ah. <laughs> I'm a fan of Red Alert because that's why I said it initially. But beyond that, mm. R is pretty good. Um, so is Code um, Red. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go for an uplifting one. Okay. Because I feel like that's all we are now. <laughs> oh. I don't see how we fix it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, there's so much. Hmm. <laughs> We've got to fix the wards, we've got to get Magna, we've got to get Justoria, we've got to make the thing that fixes the abyss, we've got to deal with the red dragon. We are not strong enough to do any of those things. Yeah, but if you do all of them... <laughs> there yeah, more game time. <laughs> red sand is good. Um, there's also this one. Ooh. I'll, I'll put in... The red wastes. Because he does, right? That's what his job is. He wastes things. Yeah. Guess what I yeah. say? Yep. I, I like that one. These are all me, by the way, the voting, so carry on voting. <laughs> Just having fun okay. with the fire emoji. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> with the fire emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I would love some toast right now, Scott, thanks. Um, <laughs> like, with the best. <laughs> um, Andy actually won a vote that isn't just that one vote that that one got, because that is currently winning with that one vote. Hang on. Oh, yeah, I, no, I just spent ages looking for a dragon emoji. <laughs> It's good. Like last it. one. That's my last one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was thinking something of glass. but Yeah, like a vault of amber, but glass. <gasps> Where do I know vault of glass from? Is that Destiny? This is the first raid in Destiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is brought back for D2, and Atheon can suck a dick. I hate him, the teleporting bastard. Um, okay, let's see. Okay. What? Going once for names. I am. I'm looking. I'm like. I it's just okay. can't get over yep. how many emojis you managed to get in there. <laughs> like yes. There was more, but I, I stopped. Them. I actively stopped. No, don't stop. Keep going. <laughs> Please. I don't know. <laughs> um, well, to me, I would want to name it something to do with the Golden Order, like the Citadel being rubble. I mean, yeah, I the red waste. Mm. The red wasted it. Covered. Red uh, I wouldn't put fire. Fireworks aren't really. I don't. I mean, is that how he does? Is he a boom firework? Between Moreno and that, obviously <laughs> that um, secretary. Yeah, total fireworks. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is a hell. Oh God, no! Oh God, no! No, I forbid it. I forbid it. <laughs> no. I'm going on it. You can't remove it. There's a moment. Oh, God. I give up. Four weeks in a row. Yeah. yeah. Five weeks for a character exploits, though. This, this That's was, the only downside. Was... No! We have to break the no. curse. Tiamat. Tiamat. Okay. Uh, well, I think we have a winner. <laughs> and it's the Red Wastes by a landslide. <laughs> Um, are you just suddenly going to change your name to like Vladimir Putin in a second? Is that how it will start to work? Um, I mean, it was, it, it was always at my whim. 
So I'm not going to suddenly change. I'm just going to remind you how it has always been. Um, <laughs> uh, no, you need to fix um, the H, my dear. I'm there. Yeah. It's, it's part of the scene. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. Right, there you go. There you go. I, I enjoy that it mm-hmm. upsets you. Sorry. Oh, no, 100% doesn't. No, you're good. Um, <laughs> Just like the amount of votes that I, I went to the effort of giving, I'm just going to undo all of them. Like, why, why even bother? Like, why no! even bother? Like, what? There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. You know, it's fine. Um, okay, goals. Uh, <laughs> none. None of <laughs> Yep, so what are our new goals? Oh. Yeah. Um, I think we can probably get rid of compromised uh, ward in Omen and deal with red? <laughs> Maybe? Know, like, uh, leave him there. I was going to say, do you, do, <laughs> you have, do you have a plan to deal with that? Because... Mm. W- wards? That I to feel be, like... Uh, mm. Yeah, the possibly the thing about reactivate the, the remaining yeah. wards. Okay. So to does, trap the red. So does... Yeah, I think which of those four reserves. goals, right? So wait, which of those four goals seems least likely were used to solve in the time it would take years to get Rasira to redistribute the wards in the right direction. Getting the spear. Right? Yeah. 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 Take out. So maybe yeah. use shelf that one. Right? <coughs> yeah. Yep. And then you can put it you know, back to the ideas pile. Nice. Just because we're talking about destiny, this is this is this is how I feel like this. <laughs> <laughs> Channeling my chain six right now. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you die, but who knows? Maybe you won't. <laughs> I, I would go with this personally. And no, because we are well aware it's not fine, though. <laughs> it's not fine. Why is the goal just C? Why is that the goal currently? See. Just see. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. I miss something yeah. more is happening. I mean, does it need to happen? <laughs> I mean, me and Callie are just like, no, no, no. <laughs> Have remainings reset to default. You feel we're missing a word there? Uh, triage. Woo. Uh, like we all know that's going to be Lunaria when she turns up, let's face it. I don't um, think Amaratus has ever been a pelican. A peacock, definitely. I, I mean, I'd, I'd be down for some pelican. Mm. Just, is that just a lunch in High Rock again? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I thought you were taking orders. Uh, Ryan, can you become a giant pelican the way you can become a giant eagle and that way you can just like harry like 10 more people in your big mouth? Uh, no, because <laughs> I, I, in... I lost the title vote, so no. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just asking if that was actually a thing, if you wanted to implement it, that'd be amazing. I am going to push the button that says I'm a partner really petty. Um, no, um, I have no idea. I mean, I don't, I don't see why not, if we can find stats that are like enough, right? Um, but if not, then probably not. It just means the pelicans like, still exist. <laughs> apparently. I feel like that's the question of is a pelican more like an owl or an eagle? Mm-hmm. True. Oh. Mm. Mm. Why is a raven get... quite like a writing desk? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody get me a biologist. Is the answer to that <laughs> one, Ihana? A zoologist. Because. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because. Because um, it's a raven. Anyway, so moving on. Yeah. I. Oh. <laughs> I feel like we're in the right place to talk to a tiefling, and I feel like I want to cha- change my goal. <laughs> I'm like, no. Well, let's talk about right. So, personal goals. What do you want to change your goal to, Isla? Isla, I, I right. I don't think it can be a goal because I think it's a conversation. Okay. But Isla definitely is at the point where she's like, "Shit, I'm gonna need to like build some major bridges here," because because Mara's all problems and. And what's what's your ideal group. so what's your ideal outcome from what you're trying to achieve? What would be the best timeline outcome? 
for the tiefling thing? No, for, for, the... for your new ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I would like, I'd like n- not to, timeline-wise, I want Mirat's not to hate my boss, but I think right. that's long-term. And I think I will need to make sure that he still feels part of the group. Okay. Okay. And yeah. Isla feels so. bad about how she told him and thinks that's not cool. At least you did cushion it ever so slightly with the I am definitely keeping things from you. I, I did warn him. <laughs> but just it just so happens it wasn't great that the introduction had mm. to be Yeah, I work for and the blue and the red has Mm. Glassed yeah. an entire yeah. area. Yeah, yeah. but at hey, her request. Hey, hey. At least it was the abyss, and not like. Oh, by the way, he flattened Omen. Sorry, lol jokes. Um, yeah, but that's now on the table. The scary part. I think he's fine. <laughs> he seems cool. What I are mean, we if, he's, about? if if he wants to go collect shiny objects, I don't know how much dragon. He's got the shiniest object. Yeah, he's in a he's in a desert of glass. He has, so he's in and the he's golden got a golden citadel. citadel. Uh, citadel, of course. Citadel. Yes. citadel. Um, um, Every time yeah, we say it, by the way, dragon... Serene, you take a point of damage, by the way. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I, I would quite like something about like rebuilding bridges with Marat. <laughs> but mm-hmm. I am happy to just have that as a... Yeah, that is actual... what's in my head. Mm-hmm. Versus... Yeah. On the paper. I think it's still Because I think it is a worthy of pursuing. Yep, but I think, yeah, it is a bit more conversationally. Yeah. But it's not to say it, can, it wouldn't develop into something else, right? So we can definitely put okay. it in the ideas pile at least, so at least it's floating around. But sure, I would sure, say, sure. You, yeah, definitely pursue that regardless. I, um, yeah. yeah. Anyone so else? I might leave my two flings for now. Okay, that's fine. Anything else personal goal wise? Changing. Mm, but like, What's up with the Phenom? This isn't really like the the highest priority at the moment, but I wouldn't know what. I was gonna say, but what is? It would change, yeah. Yeah, because obviously there's too no many point things. To yeah. lie. Well, okay. Here's a better plan. As a party, what is the first thing you need to do? Not die. No. That would make the game much quicker. <laughs> what was that? The wards, um, yeah? I, yeah, the maybe wards, get the wards. the wards running and get the red locked down to a location yeah. so he doesn't just go, I like the look of that over there, blah. Yep. Yeah, red, but a bo- tiny little kid. So, yeah. both. So you're changing the, the general goal, the compromised ward. So we've got, General. we have um, have the remaining wards reset to default. Um, so that is at least a goal. So that's the next step. What? Okay, in theory, that should lock down the red if it works, right? Mm-hmm. So then what's the next step? What's next after that? So you can just tick off uh, we, the red, I guess, at that point. Until further we notice. Could, until we need to go to the abyss. <laughs> we could go back to finding out what went wrong with them in the first place by going back to Omen. Okay, so you've got a goal for what compromised the ward Omen. Perfect. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, if we're going back to Omen, then I could right. just keep... Right, that's a thing. Yeah. Um, so is um, going back to Omen the next step, then? I thought we were going to yeah. go to Santa Clara. Santa Clara. Yeah, Santa Clara. see? So, what are you doing there, though? Uh, kicking down people's doors, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> GGW. Okay. Um, is it worth having something about Magna? Yeah. Probably. I was yeah, going to change yeah. mine into yeah, the fact that... to re-establish contact or getting him back. Yeah. Like, Magna, please come back. He'll be like, I haven't got Which... my daughter yet, so... Yeah. I, I feel again, like if me, as Isla, is saying, you know, maybe, maybe we did need him. Oh, sure. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Right. Even Cerul seems to be saying that. Yeah. <laughs> Even like... Cerul's like, oh, no. Well, she like she didn't know how the wards work. She did say like that Magnus they were his, right? Like we need, yeah. yeah, we need Magna for the wards. We need him or the instruction manual. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like tell us how to so, do it. Or if only you had wrote down yeah. how to deactivate your most sophisticated kingdom security device. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you're not aware, we, everything now. blew up, <laughs> and we need you to reset them. Please, where's the on-off switch? 
<laughs> yeah, can we turn them off and turn them back on again? Question, Ryan. If we reactivate this ward, is it going to harm the red the way, you know... You have no idea. Because I thought that's how they were designed, was to be like, oh, you're not supposed to be here. Ding! Fuck off. And that's no why idea. they had to stay away. Yep. Mm. Again, no idea. Right. Horizons ward, the nearest one to the west. A horizon and a Santa Core. Santa Cores. Because, I mean, if... The way the impression I got off of them originally was the reasons the dragons couldn't get here is that they would literally just, you know, because you base them on the, the angel from Evangelion. I can't remember what angel it's based on. It's based again, on sorry. Raniel visually, but don't think of Raniel. Raniel's, like, no. moveset or anything. Like, the only no, thing you but... know is the wards are what protect cities. That is as much as you know. If it's able to stop, it stopped them coming in all this time, it obviously can harm them. Because I mean, that would well, quite Your experience of the wards has been what you have seen happen with Serene. There was, there must have been something that was stopping the Red from just being unleashed on the world anyway. Yeah, that has, I, yeah. I got that impression that the wards would, like, if the Red decided to do this kind of thing earlier, he would have got really hurt for it. Yep. Like, if he flew in over top, the 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 wards would have just went, back the fuck up, you're not allowed to be here. So, reactivating them to that default setting, and he's just sitting there, are they immediately going to react like that? But there's obviously some places in the world not covered by the wards, because he existed as Yeah, but it, well, I'm saying, will it... I don't, cause I don't I've answered the question. Is it, like, you don't know. blinks them out, or does it Again, attack them? there's a no in point which we have a where you get problem. this answer. You don't know. You're no, no, no. I'm, past that I'm, step. I'm just as, right? uh, just yeah. with the guys. Like, what do we think? Like, would turning the wards back on if they attack him would that make the situation worse, or is it just going to uh, blink him out and he's like, what nah, I will say you must is no be on this lady. rule said you should consider it. Uh, yeah, you should maybe read into that. Yeah, we should. Um, if, I think it'll uh, trap but, them. So here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. If I'm going to play Devil's Advocate with myself, okay, Cyril said, this happened. Oh dear. These were gone for two weeks. Perhaps you should get the wards to do what they're meant to do. Right? Obviously, Natalie raises a very valid question. What does that mean for the red? Okay. Let's say Cyril isn't fully on the up and up if we lean into Natalie and Maratis's paranoia. Okay, probably more Maratus than Natalie, but maybe it is Natalie. Yeah. Um, no, 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 it's okay. Maratus. I like dragons, you like, know that. I know. But, you know <laughs> covered in tattoos of them. So, if we lean into Maratus's paranoia, what if Cyril wants you to poke the bear? Then we do it with a big stick from far away. Mm -hmm. Should do you guys consider it a separate issue entirely to deal with the red, or do you think there's a way we do this at the same time as closing the hell holes? Because if we're going to fully divert and solve that first, we may as well just like go to Axis and tell all the metallics to just go and fuck them up. You know, or something, you know? Like, we can make an entire other storyline out of this, so what do you want to do? It's a different matter entirely to solve this Try at the same... not to cause further collateral damage. Mm. Because there's been a lot in the last two weeks. Omen's populist yeah. maybe just got halved. He's just literally like Ryan. Anyone can living in the wastes? Yeah. How many were in the wastes? Oh yeah, like I thousands and thousands. Were... Like it was like thousands. scattered tribes of people in the, yeah. in the wastes. So yeah. in, in the space of two weeks, we have lost in this world probably five yeah. figures. Some tens of thousands of people have died. But there's there's two things to that point, which is we have lost them, which means he's just in some wasteland now. There's, if someone came to fight him here, there's nothing left to lose. But also, that, we already... He could move. We have an in with... Um, not really an in, but we've spoken to the Dragon Emperor uh, of Axis as well. Um, so maybe we could follow up on that. I don't know, it's up to whether or not, again, you think but we should stop stop this as a separate matter entirely. So what's your plan to tell the Dragon Emperor that uh, the kingdom's up for grabs? Well, I, I wouldn't mind that. But... <laughs> right? Is that your plan? Because I know you wouldn't mind that, but maybe somebody else in your party might. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what you could be society. Please don't collapse society. It's barely holding on as it is at this point. It's like, hey, yeah. Magna, welcome back from hell. Um, we need that. I know you're using it as like a walking stick because you're probably half dead. Um, thank you for the spear. Um, also, we kind of gave away your kingdom in the red trash. Lots of things. Welcome back. Yeah, but yeah. the dragon in this scenario, the dragon emperor is actually he is seated in a council. Like he did the and my axe thing with Magna, and he's in the fellowship. So I have a feeling he's in, oh, in the whole world not being torched by his literal arch nemesis. Yeah, but remember, like none of Axis, right, is allied with the kingdom, other than they're just not willing to go to war with the kingdom because Magna like obviously defeated them previously. Magna ain't around. Mm. Just story ain't around. Yeah, yeah metallic. I mean... But also metallic dragons fighting red dragons, yet again, a lot of collateral damage. Don't imagine dragons fighting each other is just like you know a couple of ants okay. having a fight. I imagine lots of bodies all also, of a sudden. Also, I will tell you this much: like Bastille, you know enough from studying things, especially since I know you'd have been interested in studying anything Ordak had on the red specifically. Um, yeah, you'd know enough about the fact that the there was only really one metallic that could put the red in its place. Uh. Yeah, one on one, but I mean, what? It's no. like a thousand Can you guess which one it was? Yeah, the Golden Worm. Yep, the Great Gold Worm. Let's not. Let's, he earned that. He went to great school for a reason. Um, but <laughs> so what I mean by that is there is a distinct difference between whatever is in Axis and the Great Gold Worm. Mm -hmm. Like, there is a very big gap between that. So, yeah. It's kind of like well, yeah, that would be a one -on -one fight, but I'm not talking about what I'm talking about an army versus one thing, and I I don't think that's unrealistic to to think the army could win that. But, Have you uh, seen the Hobbit? The bit uh, where Small goes in and starts fighting the army, and how many it takes to beat him? All of them. A, a exactly. Shrimp, a I area kills Smog. Precisely. Is but how it... much has he destroyed before that? <laughs> yeah, but it's also what. It... Long term for the world, sure, but what's to our benefit of trying to off the red now? I kind of like what him does where that he is. get us? You. Yeah, like let's turn the wards on and keep him where he is. <laughs> but I'm saying, will they keep him where he is or will they assault him? Like, is the way the words kept things away, was it like bamfed them every time they like crossed a line, it just popped them 50 feet back? Like, no, well, you cannot I mean, cross this line, or did it like laser beam them in the sky and be like, you will get fucked? I will fuck you. <laughs> and he's going to have two of them looking right at him when he's like a couple of miles away and get upset about it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but like, the, to, the, like doing this peacefully and without collateral damage is an exponentially different and complicated goal. Like uh, that's yes. a different level of like, that's a new storyline to do this with, with like safely. So it's a given that there will be something drastic. To solve this, so I don't think it matters either way. Are we are we not going to do the wards if it, if it involves annoying I'm the red? I'm just saying, we have no is, options. It, is it worth maybe looking into like for it, at least maybe for myself, at least as a personal goal, like trying to figure out what's going to happen to try and perhaps prepare because you might need to evacuate cities. It might be a case yeah. of see them to where? move them a bit further back. I don't know, closer to High Rock because. They're further away from where he is. Ah, so into the in belly case. of the blue. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I'm just trying to <laughs> well, think for Santa you Cora. as Moratis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, Santa, that's, Cora that's, that's is just also... as, Santa Cora is worse off than Horizon. Ah, shit. I keep forgetting. I can need to look at the map. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah, there's just... I'm not sending them to the Queenswood under any circumstance. <laughs> um, as if she'd take them. She wouldn't. Um... Go. Fact. Thank you. you. You're welcome. I don't, yeah, in character type things, I know it's not the red, but there were dragons at the Golden Citadel before. There were it red was dragons. By dragons. So they managed to get there without getting poked by the wards. And what did the white say about that? Does Scott remember? Oh. What did the white say about the wards? No. Let's stick with the conversation. Yep. Nope. So, the red dragons that had attacked the citadel before, remember? Yes. 
Um, they were. She said that that was Magnus doing. Yep. What was her exact words? Do you remember? Magna has declared war on us all. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. At some point we. And fuck the fact that most of the party doesn't care. Like in terms of we we want the dragons to win, and then how do we deal with getting Moratus on board with that? Is it, <laughs> is, it, is it even as much as that, or is it just close the abyssal breach and just see who's got the most like in their side and vote with them? Who has the most likes? <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I'm I'm totally up for that. Um. So realistically, you just need to get whatever lets you solve your quest, right? really it. doesn't really matter if the dragons want to take over or if like you know Magna wants to take over or if like the old empire wants to take over or whatever like it doesn't really matter. We need, matter. To, we, we need to stay on the white's good side or else we can't make the thing that closes the abyss. There you go. So that's There's a, a very good point to see. Yep. yep. Um, yeah, but as for bad. getting the pieces of this puzzle we have no hope in hell of making this weapon in the next <laughs> wee while. Like I feel like it's almost like we should be dealing with the red because we can't make the thing. But there's no point we dwelling on that, right? So if you're saying we should deal with the red, that is what one of those goals is, which is go tell Rasira, please go reset mm -hmm. some of the wards to stop to lock down the red. Done. Mm -hmm. So that's done, right? So yeah. other than that, what's the plan? Lots of TNT. Yeah, the black tracks. Hey, but that that I feel but like we shelved that. Don't we just shelf that? Yeah. yeah. Like, what's the plan to acquire? We've it? shelved that, and then shelf the Iogenus because we have no idea what we're doing with that. I think the next best one is probably finding the GGW. Because he's obviously still alive. Well, no, he's actually We're not obviously still alive. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Why don't we just break that down a bit into sub goals then? Right. Uh, for Logan W. Touch as. Right, so uh, what is step um, one? Because if we look at Cronbar's goal and locate the GW, right? Let's look at those as like an overarching goal. Okay. A. What is step one? So you just want to get to Santa Cora and then do what? I want to, you know, as my goal says, I want to investigate the uh, religious uh, leaders for motivations uh, against DW. It's exactly what you said. <laughs> yes, the DG. He became Wookie. <laughs> and if you if we find them, then we can hopefully track down who the fuck actually has them. Again, don't it has to be you. somewhere. That was it very, has to be somewhere. That was very much that Homer's guide we'll to avoiding we'll dying in a fire, wasn't it, really? It was something, something, then you'll see, you'll avoid catastrophe. <laughs> the thing is, if we do that, we do it one way. It's like finding a, a needle in a haystack versus one hay in a bunch of needles. So here's my like, question. You have had Locate GW for a while in various forms. Um, do you have a new method at your disposal? For finding the GDW, yes or no? I would say we should find someone who is. There will be people looking for him. We just need to know who they are and join All them. All the people that would have been looking for him are probably dead at the abyss currently. No, there's no. There is no way everyone in his religion is dead now. There's, that's impossible. Oh, wow. He was one of the all time. <laughs> so there's one there, more. My apologies. No, there's one man left. Okay. Well, I know what Bastille's saying. I can, I, I get I can well. genuinely it's... believe that there will be other people that do like worship the GW in the way that you'd worship gods, but there will be nobody with like a strong connection, like a paladin, for example, because they're all in the abyss. Because most people drawn to the worm served the worm. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't mean to say people wouldn't be rooting for him 100%. Like, just, probably just everybody like... right now is probably rooting for the worm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There, yeah, there's worm. probably entire factions that have gone, okay, we don't care about him, but. We need him to save our asses. Where is he? Yeah. Um, so, probably find allies. Well, would be the next step. You just have allies, right? You've got Cyril. You just know this, right? Obviously, I know you but have the, a bit yeah, of tentative feelings regarding that, but she has pretty much shown her hand in what she is able to and not able to do. Like, Cyril's been fairly upfront with you guys generally. Because if we look at mm -hmm. the meta knowledge of Cyril, obviously, as a player group, not a character group. We know that she has managed to like well she nearly died closing a hellhole on her own using like the mm -hmm. um do you call it Rod of Pa? Rod of Pa. Yep. Which became briefly the staff of Pa, it seemed. 
Um, so yep. yeah, and she didn't seem eager to repeat that since she still doesn't seem like full whack, right? Like she, she definitely seems like maybe she wouldn't have been so quick to phone her bro if she was at full strength. Um, but that, uh, like she, I don't get the impression that she would um, set the golden worm to on killing her bro. So I, I mean, you said the golden worm would kill him. Right, so there's That's no point. There's no point in getting like bogged down in that minutia because you don't have a great gold worm to throw at him yet. So there's no point thinking about that. So well, you no, know, we, what I mean though, Sean, an ally. is oh. you know that she is an ally because if you ask her for help, she's likely to help you. Regardless, no, not because we want to find someone who will kill her. No, nope. like, you don't know that. It's, it's, it's all complete speculation on your part, and you have no evidence to believe the great gold worm would have killed the red because he hasn't yet. And they're older than most gonna, things on this he, disc. <laughs> we're just going to sit on him for all time. We're just going to turn him into a throne and just sit on the on the red until time ends. No, he's going to... Like, why would I think he's going to do anything but war with him to the death? I don't know why you think... Especially when he's done. sitting in his his um, temple like it's his throne now. I don't imagine he's going to be pleasantly pleased upon seeing that. Yeah, but being displeased by, you know, that guy that you're used to since the dawn of time versus, you know... Right, like you're you making do. a lot of assumptions here for no reason. So stick on track. Well, we know that list of allies. So what you're saying to me, Shan, is you don't see Cyril as an ally. Not Cyril for finding her only oh. ally. Yeah, she's think, it. like she's. I think she's it. I think literally yeah, she's Cyril's probably nice. got. Nope, dwarf king. Candia. Candia, dwarf king. How do we feel about those? Um, I don't know if I'm no, I mean the dwarf king should be. We saved his fucking life. Again, but what can he give us? He's too busy trying to make sure his people are going to survive underground. He's not going to care about up here. He's got his own shit. I think he with. would have done, yeah, if we hadn't got his entire army killed. But yeah, yeah, he's he's busy, and that's well within reason. Oh, like shit. he's taking care of him. Has in his own. And he did say all that but, in the meeting as well. He did say, like, you know, if you have yeah. a plan, loop me in, I'll do what I can. But I do have dwarven <laughs> affairs to write. Yeah. yeah. So yep. it's like, yeah, yeah, you're an ally in spirit, but the mm -hmm. amount he'll be able to give to us is. You don't. Yeah. One, you but don't want to take it, off him, and two, it's not a lot. But what does he have that you really aren't looking at? And came up yeah, earlier. No, he doesn't have that. He has two cities. Oh. So. What does that have? Remember that part earlier when you said let's evacuate people? So oh. That's a thing, but that's. It, there's still war down there. I'm like, I'm not sure I'd want to be in. Well, Maratus wouldn't want to send people under there because he, he has a very distinct impression of what under there is like. There's no war in Forge or in Anvil. There's war in between them. In the undermarch between them, yeah. and there's war in the surrounding underworld, but not yeah. in Forge or Anvil. Yeah, yeah. If you ask us, we're like, no, it's lovely. No, oh. it's, it's a great place. <laughs> Kill these two, these two specific cities. It's like if you go to North Korea, they only take you but to again, these two spots. Can you see how you're getting lost in all the unnecessary kind of pointless details. He is an ally that has two cities. That is his resources. He has whether or not he has two extra gold coins he could throw away is irrelevant. He has two cities. That's what he can offer, right? And the party has a lot of good karma with him. Not everybody, mind you, but a lot. Uh, so that's Cerule, because the party do have a lot of good karma with her, varying, and mm. Dwarf King. Um, Kandir. How do we feel about that? I mean, we've got our baby, and we're taking good care of him. One could hope that that's got us something with her. Take care, Kylie. Night, night, uh, honey. So yeah, so Candir, how do we feel about that? Because she did say, "We need this. It's here for you when you want it." Talking about the astral hammer, mm -hmm. she wasn't fussed about that. <coughs> she also, even if it involved biting Serene, did offer to help Serene's home mm -hmm. and sent resources straight there. What was that? Sorry, Shran, you were saying? Where? I think she'd help with everything except finding the GGW. Okay, yeah. I mean, you did ask her about that before, and she pretty much made her position very clear. 
So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, what about the High Druid, though? Yeah, you'd mentioned him earlier. I meant to actually look back on that. Sorry, I forgot. Because you did bring him up. He's so, less. I think he's, um, he might have healed a bit more by now, and he can do more things, I suppose. He's had at least two weeks of healing, right? Let's face it. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> so, there is that. I, um, and he did ask for you to see him, so. I'm sure he's fine. But that was very specific uh, to the Phoenix conversation, not necessarily anything that users are actually discussing currently. <laughs> sure. I would like to find allies that are dedicated to finding the GGW, like not repurpose ones that are good at other things. Like there must be people out there who want to find him. I just want to. I think we should get onto the cutting edge of that situation. What have they found so far? What's their evidence? What have they ruled out? I think the problem is you're really expecting that, rather than that you have a lot of people out there that just aren't on your level, right? And I mean, as a party, these are already I don't up mind. above a lot of the world's like, you know, capabilities. So, yeah, that's what I mean. Just the the layman, just like people who have been to, just stood in places and seen he is not there. That resource pool. Oh. <laughs> Well, I just like uh, t try and set sending to random dial, um, and just see what happens after like a couple of days of phoning people. I'm like, so, cold yeah. calling. Um, uh, hello, do you know anything about the Great Gold War? Um, <gasps> like, I'm not here to tell tell you anything. I just want you to tell me about them. <laughs> it's a very weird cold call. Um, mm. But right, like, I mean, it's. I've heard worse plans. I've heard better plans. Well, I've heard worse plans. Um, we'll right, probably so, we'll find kind of people in Santa Cora anyway, so I guess that I'll just yeah, have to yeah. be the next. Yeah, so yeah, I feel, we've yeah. got that. Yeah. We've got Hydroid, we're probably putting him in the ally column, from what I can hear. Um, so, who else have we got? The Elf Queen, Old on Maratis. Other people answer first. I feel like I know your answer. <laughs> <laughs> he has one answer for her at all times no. So, Elf Queen, how do we feel? Yeah, because we've asked um, Celeste about what she feels about her, and she hasn't been like, no, don't trust this bitch. She's evil. Yeah, like, you can tell her she's got she's a... been... Oh, you go, sorry, Ellie. No, I said to us, she's been helpful. Like, in terms of, well, in terms of Ayla's interactions with her. She showed up and was, like, mysterious, but, like... Yeah. Clearly, That's like, the only the very, party line. like the way she was in the council, though. Obviously, like she's definitely got like her own whatever agenda is going on because she's the elf queen, and that mm. seems to be her mo. Is just she does what she wants. Um, but yeah, like she is the one that told you guys. Well, if she's want to actually fix that problem, go build the thing that fixes it. So she was the one that did give you guys. That was what it is, mm. though, which is suspicious. I could see her being there when we assemble it and just yoinking it. But, oh, by the way, this is the key to Venus. <laughs> I will not fix the planet. Yeah. But remember that there's two parts of that promise to two separate gods. So if she wants to be the third person involved in that trio of bullshit, mm -hmm. be welcome to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she can fight the god of magic and the phoenix. So there you go. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see how that goes down. Yeah, it's a fair <laughs> point, right? You know, much like the good luck getting my soul if it's promise to nine people, you know, conversation. Yeah. Yep. You know, so if she tries that, it's like cool. Uh but Steel, could you send to Pa? I'm just going to send to Celeste. Yeah, it's over there. Uh, we can't quite get it back, but you are welcome to go collect that. She's not She's not being nice. <laughs> and then we'll watch as the Queen's Wood literally just ceases to exist somehow because it'll be like, oh no, they killed her. That's the thing, um, If Celeste is the Phoenix, then she can't come here, so... Maybe she can well, it would just be Pa, and I would still take the god of magic over yeah, a person that, who yeah. uses magic, because I think he'd just click his fingers and suddenly she's like, I can't do shit. Like, oh dear, I forgot to read that. Suddenly, my mana bar is empty, <laughs> and I have no mana potions. And he's just sitting there going, so it. it's my, my stick. My mana potions are just wine stick. now. Useless wine. Up on the boat. Oh uh, dear. Okay, so Elf Queen, are we filing in the ally column? Even though we had that conversation, it sounds like yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Elmeratus wouldn't, but yep. 
There's a party Maratus culture. wouldn't because Maratus is terrified of her. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I think the party are fairly scared of her too. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, but she, <laughs> they, like, for them, it's not like she clicks her fingers and says dance and suddenly Maratus' knees are backwards and he mm. can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> There's That's a distinct normal. difference between somebody Which who is, is like, I've been out of my control of my body before and it took a week to reset my bones. Hey, this woman could literally make me cast a spell on myself again and I could do nothing about it. And she might. Oh, yeah. You, you totally messed that one up. Yeah. So but the fact is, <laughs> she could do that to Maratus. And Maratus is hyper aware of that. Yep. That if she just decided to, she could be like, cool, cast shape change on yourself. And Maratus would do it, and all of his bones would be in the wrong place. So, I'm still going to leave her in the ally column, for now. Um, who else we got? Axis in general. Right? Because obviously, I wouldn't say Crumbar made the best impression on the Dragon Empire, eh, Emperor. No. But, you know, it's not to say that he's going to want the world to go to shit over a bad first impression. Right? No. At the very least, I think Chroma being there is a reason to talk to him again. And as Shan said, there is a dislike between the chromatics and the metallics, so even if just playing with that thing of, you see, if we don't fix this, the red could just take everything, you could at least play on that. Oh, so I 100%. think Shan does have, certainly yeah. has a, a vein with that of... Oh, like, there's 100% an angle. You, yep, metallics, chromatics, it's always been bad blood. The only thing I'd say from Aratus' point of view is, that is a snowball into handing him the kingdom. Yes, it is. Yep. It's a very start of a snowball, though, but it is that that first yeah. step. Mm -hmm. Well, what's harder to take back? The guy that's already been beaten or the red? Like, it's easier to probably take Wait. the kingdom of the guy who's all, who represents the side that have already lost it versus the yeah. five or just the red. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, depends how that's going to end up, how much... You know, I, I mean, we don't know the agendas. Like, if the red starts causing enough ruckus, you don't know if Candier's just going to turn up and be like, "Bitch, enough." Mm -hmm. You don't know how we, we can attest to how the other five or three, sorry, two, because we don't know where green or black is. Uh, so th they're somewhere doing their thing, um, but you don't know how much Cyril and Candier might just get together and go like, like, look at him and go, "You either pack it in or we pack you in. Take your pick," because mm -hmm. you're not going to beat us both. So it's it's kind of wandering on people's edge. I personally think this is me, not Marotta's, of course. Okay. That our best bets to deal with the red are definitely his siblings, because they've dealt with him all this time and kept no, him they, they would somewhat. Not. They, I don't think Cerule or Candir wants to see the world on fire, especially when one of them represents ice. I don't think she wants <laughs> to see the world being the thing that makes her go, "Ah, it's too hot, melt." No. Well, that's a problem that's been there for millennia, and they haven't killed him yet because that's yes, their brother. Yes, because he's not instigated anything. At this point, he is now sitting he in might, a city. Over, and over it, millennia, and he, over millennia, he would have instigated yes. a couple of things, and they they would never have killed him because that's yes. their family. Though. But one of them's now living in this area that he's encroaching on. I imagine they're territorial. The way I imagine dra dragons are territorial beasts. That's the way I not see them like in that. my head. If he starts getting a little bit too close to High Rock, I imagine we're going to see Cyril's big blue dragon form looking at him going, Let's have a look a at the map, closer, right? Fucker. See if people have a look at the screen for now, right? Very quickly. Um, and we have that conversation, right? So, if Candir is still in Forge, right? If Candir is still in Forge, and Cyril bases High Rock, and he's in the Golden Citadel, they're nowhere near each other. We do get a triangle. Um, Surrounding Omen, which is really nice. Well, uh, everything surrounds Omen. That's why Magna put in the middle. <laughs> good point. Um, <laughs> but yes, I imagine the red, to me, feels ambitious. And he might start going maybe towards Santa Cora and the Wildwood. Or maybe he decides he wants Glitterhagen because it has the name Glitter, so surely it's got <laughs> shiny things there. Because I'm the red and I want all the shiny things. Um, yeah. And then he does get a little bit too close and they go pack that in right now. Because I don't imagine well, they'll not tell him. They, they would bow out to him. I imagine they are very, very much, you know. Candir is perceived, at least if I'm correct in this, as the head honcho oh yeah, of the like five. Most people consider Candir or the Winter King the leader of the five. Yep. 
I am. Yes. The, so, the thing is, like, they're each. I, I'm just going to assume they're like hundreds of thousands years old. If they were the first dragons, right? They have seen a million cities rise and fall. They will not kill their brother over maybe losing High Rock or maybe losing Forge. I'm not saying like, kill, oh, but physically educate stuff. is not off the board. <laughs> They could make him go lick his wounds back where he came from and go, right, you, you got your playtime, you threw your dummy out the pram, and now you're going into the timeout corner. Where we sent you before because of the last thing you did. Because if they two are here quite happily and have been for a sizable amount of time, potentially, and he's the one that keeps getting left in the corner, I imagine it's because they keep him there as much as the wards, because they two have managed to get this close to the wards and nothing stopping them. He's the only one that doesn't seem to know how to trick them. But so on that, not... we know that Cyril was looking for him. She didn't know where he was at one point. She was like, where is my brother? So I thought she was she talking didn't... about the green. About the green. Or the black. I thought it was green or black. She was, was talking it, about was the she talking about the green in the Queen's Wood? No, she was talking about the red. Nope, she was never the talking about the red. Nope. No. They always know where the brother then in the Queen's Wood. She never elaborated because remember Crumbar offered help. He offered help. To find the brother. It'll be the green like, or black. You can't do anything to help me find my brother. Yeah. And then Crumber went, I'm sick of this, I'm just going to make you the governor. Bam. Wish. Done. Yeah. So like, we don't know who she was talking about. Yep. Well, I think, I, I want to say Serena actually asked her later, I am who you're looking for. And she did say, like, her brother, which was the green. So she's, the, the, the green is literally oh, yeah. knowing where he was. They know where the red is. That's how she managed to call on him. She knew where he was to call on him and be like, Come here and carpet bomb this, please. So the fire that the white well, and found the him in that time. But okay. No, uh, I imagine that he is very much kept in the naughty corner. Probably by the white. <laughs> like, don't start your shit, or I will end your shit. Because hmm. I would, I think that would be quite an interesting just visual fight of realizing how his fire can't do shit against the king's ice. Like, how cold does your ice need to be that the fire loses? Because that mm. makes Candir even more scary if that is um, the case, that the red bows out to the way. It's like, that's terrifying. Because naturally, Pokemon terms, ice loses to fire. And in this case, it's apparently winning. Well, I mean, technically, fire needs heat to exist. So, yeah. But he is heat. So, does that mean every time he goes to Effie, ever goes to visit his sister, it's just like, ah, put the heat on his. It's cold. just a really awkward hug for both of them, that's all it is. I need to wear socks. I've got two pairs of socks on and I still can't feel my toes. All the socks burn, what are you hoping for? Um, so, beyond that, right? So, I don't think the red is what we'd call an ally. I think he's in the not ally pile. Okay. okay. Is there any major players? Right, Rasira is obviously in the ally pile as well. I kind of didn't yes. mention him for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> MDL is big that we need to care about. That's an ally. Old man Jet. Old man Jet, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love the way you say that. What about Oridak? Just Doria yeah, and Magna. Like or yeah. Yep, so Just Doria and Magna are both in the ally column, is that right? If Not they are alive. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 Everyone's like, uh. oh, Just Doria, yes. Magna, Magna will fix the yeah, red definitely. problem, and Magna is desperate mm. to fix the abyss problem. Magna I can see be though. Oh, is that sorry, Sean? It's his kingdom. That's fine. Mm -hmm. You were saying something, I just couldn't hear it. That was all. Just don't, I don't trust Magna at all. He, he won't give us the Black Fang Spear to even save his daughter, like, or, or anything. Or close He's the a way to off. save his daughter with it. No, before that, before any of that, we've been, we've seen him before. He he doesn't give a shit about using the Black Fang Spear to close the hell holes. He just doesn't give a toss. So yeah, I think what, what's your plan? Like poke a hell hole with his spear? Like oh, there we go. Wave it we, around a bit we, in the we fire. Have it on a god's authority, like a god has said, this will do it. No. To a man who doesn't believe in gods. No, no, no. Let's go back a couple of steps. What god said the Black Fang Spear would do anything like that? I thought Cyril said that, um, Celeste, that's oh, the whole Celeste point. Celeste just said, I, that will cause the abyssal breach, and I don't want that to be a thing. And it should not be in the hands of people that would misuse it, so bring it to me. That's not a weapon, the one it that should be on about the, Yeah, it's so the queen. Of queen. About closing these? Uh, uh, probably because you live, you live on the, the, the 
the disc that they're all opening on. Mostly that. Yeah, but there are people. That's not our job, apparently. <laughs> We've been tasked with a different job entirely. So. Yeah, I mean, why yeah, that's we never been like. On... I don't know why you've like never like understood. Like we've discussed this many times that to close the abyssal breach, that is like the second tier to giving her the spear. But you should probably do that part first to then give her the spear, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. She only ever okay, asked I... for the black fang spear. Okay. Yeah. Yep. But you probably want to close the abyss, otherwise. It doesn't really matter who has the spear at that point, really, does it? If it's all for nothing. So, yeah. Well, that means that the spear has probably might even have nothing to do with it at all. And we might even need some new set of items we've never even heard of to do this. Yep. Ugh. But that's all speculation. And currently, you're trusting the Elf Queen based on the fact that she's bitching. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it is pretty bad. <laughs> that one, that artifact that she wanted us to assemble, that's the one that someone said would close the hell holes. Yes, she said if you want a tool okay. that will close them, she said okay. that, and build it with these three things, and then smash it together with a hammer, and then also like get a god to like swing the hammer to make sure it's got. Okay, let's yeah, so that was the elf queen's like little bit she gave you guys. Um, well, that, my point stands. A god, the elf queen, has said that this will <laughs> do it, and he still doesn't care. <laughs> That's why I don't trust him or take him as an ally. Okay, okay. Right. Anything else, or is that pretty much the goals done? Because that was a really long conversation about goals. It <laughs> did, wasn't it? Um, I might change mine, because I don't think getting into... Oh, no, we will want to get back into it. I'm leaving mine short. Leave mine. We probably are going to need to get back into Omen. Hmm. Uh, let's see what's yours. I, I'm assuming yeah. Arya's going to keep hers. Yep, mm-hmm. So yeah. he's keeping hers for now. Um, yep, Grumbar, you're obviously going to keep yours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Isla, you're keeping yours. We discussed, obviously, the Maratus one that you've got <laughs> as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, general goals. Uh, we still have slotted locate GW and get a new IFG in um, Is there anything very pertinent that you think should go in there instead of them, or are we happy leaving them in too? The way we win the game, so yep. they, they are important. Yeah. One more than the other, to be honest. That's and why they're in different colors. Yep. Um, but yeah, the red one's more important than the gold one, funnily enough. Um, to the actual quest text. So, mm. yep. Uh, again, assuming you trust the Elf Queen, which we are thus far. Uh, beyond that, then, I, let us go straight into our wrap up chat, which we've kind of done a lot of anyway. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, do you want to just start us off with uh, your your thoughts there, Bastille? We'll start start with you. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, I want to. Um, what I'm kind of working towards was uh, if Aya was here, I would have had her kind of use Eremos's book to fill up my new biro with ink, and then I could kind of have that. Magna ink in a spear shape. See if that does anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, yeah, like um, I was kind of following loosely. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Took me a couple so, of minutes to get, when you said biro, I immediately knew what you meant. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to get, spoil it, but yeah. That's okay. No, I was, I was with you. Maybe we can have like that kind of moment with her next week. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. We'll see. That's kind of my little scheming in the background that was going on. Okay. But yeah, good game. I liked. All the things that came up, I liked having kind of experiencing the red a bit, just a fraction of it. And I feel like we've suddenly got a much more kind of direct roadmap of what we're going to do next all of a sudden. So that's cool. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good. Mass destruction does help with, I suppose. I'm... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, it was, it was good. Anything else, bud? Ah, good game. Ah, good, good as well. Yep, yep, yep. Crown bar. There is an awful lot of breaking happening. Yeah. Um, and I'm not doing any of it. I just like this. The world was without its heroes for two whole weeks, though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Get two seconds. 
So, dramatic pause. <laughs> and he's back. Uh, yeah, um, so hopefully we get to even out the playing fields a wee bit and do some smashy smashy of our own. I don't know if that was discussed at all. Um, but okay. That's not worrying. <laughs> <laughs> there are many ways to smash things. Yes. <sighs> okay. Is this thing else, bud? I love you, bro. Love you too, bro. And Ayla. Oh. Oh. Mm. All the stuff. Oh. Um. Yeah. Uh, that was a fun consequence of disappearing mm. that I hadn't thought about. Mm. Um. But yeah, it was. It's fun that everything's out in the open ish now. That's nice not to have to be like, oh, God, what have we told people? Um, bit concerned. I think Isla's just going to try and not find out that Rosira knows. Mm. I think that's my plan. If I don't know that... He didn't seem to believe Morat. It seems like that's, 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 that's couldn't possibly yeah, be true. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping he stays on that train. <laughs> um, I don't want, I don't want to have to like, deal with that. Mm. Um, yeah. I am interested in where we go from here. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, it, it's a, I think Isla and possibly me as a person mm-hmm. are more on the train of, yeah, if we just trap the red in the wastes, that is a problem for later. Yeah. Because there's no nothing there. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 yeah, I'm interested in the idea that the woods might do something else and it might be a bit more of a offensive pushback mm-hmm. but he existed in the world so there's obviously spaces that the wards don't cover mm-hmm. so yes i think if you move towards things but if he just stays where he is yeah. turn everything back on and just be like it's an electric fence now ah uh, mm-hmm. um stay there mm-hmm. It's an electric <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, seeing the wastes was cool. Mm. Like that's oh show of power. And as I don't know if I actually said it out loud in the game, but yeah, that kind of thing of in some ways the breach is maybe currently like covered. Mm-hmm. It maybe gives us a wee bit of breathing room from things yeah. are spilling out of it right now. Um, so maybe we can try and... No, you definitely did, sir, because I, I had Cerule say about this was, like, yeah. infested with things that crawled yeah. out of there. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It, it, in a horrible way. So the red has destroyed time. a lot of demons, you can imagine. Yes, as well as a lot of people. So. They just happen to be in the firing line, sadly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it maybe does give us a wee bit more breathing space to figure out a course of action, mm-hmm. um, which may involve going back to Omen. Oh, as much as yep. Isla did not like it, mm. don't like oh, it. Wait. Red planet, <laughs> <laughs> and and maybe follow up on that plant goal. Plants. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes. Omen's Another already thing. exposed. I'm going to release the plant demon. Oh yeah, may as well. Yeah, goals. <laughs> Um, yeah, I do feel, Isla feels very bad about how she talked to Marat as though she felt like that was not, not the correct way to have done it. It wasn't like there but was a panicked. correct way that was going to make sense. Yeah. Like, right? like it was, a, yeah. well, you need to know It was always so. going to be bad, yeah. Mm-hmm. And in some ways, hey, maybe the fact that I worked for the blue is overshadowed by the fact that red's now involved. <laughs> so, mm. yay. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, red's a more striking <laughs> colour, you see, so the blue is not so offensive anymore. <laughs> yeah. mm. Look at me, I'm cute and harmless. <laughs> yep. Um, it's a, it's a, I like your plan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Thinking violent, um, I think we call it. Um. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, um, and yeah, I enjoyed I enjoyed all of the... Look, I'm trying to follow the rules and use Bastiel to ask for sending. And I still ended up in a between space mm-hmm. of... Mm-hmm. I'm like, I love it. I love it. I'm like, no, no, I'll try to... Oh, oh no, cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um I love it. I love the role. I love Me I love too. I'm not gonna lie. I really yeah. enjoy when I get an excuse to have her on screen. She's a lot of fun to have because she's caught kind of between two worlds herself, right? Mm. And it's great because it's like, what the fuck? Like, 
there were people living here and like now she cares about that shit it's like there were yes. people here that's something yeah. that it's like don't you get that like yeah mm -hmm. so oh, definitely like, i hope it great. was conveyed that she definitely looked like she was somebody trying mm. to hide the fact that she knows she's like oh fuck, if i'd waited like a week uh-huh but when you think the world is ending mm -hmm. you don't think you have a week yeah i yep. feel it i yep. feel it i'm still on team some rules yep me too yep. But i'm on team everybody so that's fair that's um, <laughs> that's yeah, great the... great i had a great time not oh, good um, it was lovely um, and we'll meet again at Sedali one day. Um, one day, I shall meet another tiefling <laughs> and be able to go. Do you know what the fuck a tiefling is? I didn't know that's what I was. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Dear. See that thing I am? <laughs> yeah. What is that? What is Why? this? Why? Why is me? What me? How? How do? Uh huh. <laughs> oh dear. And uh, Moratus. I, I can't keep doing this every week, right? <laughs> I did tell you, and you've watched my games, so you knew what you were coming yep. into. I knew I was coming into episode 101 of Everything Steadily Getting Worse. Mm -hmm. So this has been, like, this is, you know, episode 8, um, 108, sorry. Uh, and mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's, I'd say it's... It's escalated. Yeah. yeah. It's escalated really bad in in <laughs> in in... in, in Two sessions, we have a five-figure death count. Mm. And Moratus isn't hacking this shit because he's like, I've been in a place where I just watched bodies pile up. I came out of there to stop that. Mm -hmm. And now it's happening here. I can't do this twice. Mm -hmm. I can't. I don't want to. Down there was bad and all here is turning into the same. No. Uh... It's it's a lot, dude. There's a lot. Mm. Um, well. The shot. I I must say, like, I certainly didn't uh, expect to find out about Isla and Cyril the way mm. that this has had to. Oh, it's so good to, though. <laughs> it was just like it could have it could have went better. Like, even if it was just if it was just about Cyril maybe you probably could have talked him down a wee bit like look she was at the meeting she was trying to help she's doing all this but the fact that it was is yeah I work for the blue that's surreal and all I'm going to tell you about her that she's done is call in the red mm. and it's like ex excuse me <laughs> you yeah, work for a person who the, the only thing you've <laughs> uh -huh, the, the only thing they've done to my knowledge now is carpet bomb somewhere mm. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. And like the visual of you guys talking, like obviously I know you didn't stay long, obviously in the scene, but like the idea of you talking like a just a massive like kind of plane of glass as well. Um, mm -hmm. and I keep saying plane because I mean plane of glass, like the the place is flat. <laughs> yeah, um, it's just yeah. absolute like the heat. The only like as grim as that sounds they would have died quickly if that's the level of heat he was producing the people there would have died pretty quickly um, mm. unless they had fire resistance in which it would have taken a little bit longer <laughs> um, that might have hopefully have been all the demons that had some fire resistance and it was like slow cook rotisserie chicken dial fucker um, on the plus side I mean, though it does give you guys some kind of information regarding clearly demons aren't immune to at least the red yes the fact that they're coming out of a fiery pit and they still got burnt to death does not mean they are immune to fire. They just mm. they're not as upsetty spaghetti about it. Um but yeah, that was also I don't know how well Prisma's taking this because she just came back in with we are now aware that the red is here. Yeah. So It's almost like that was yeah. a report she still had to get to and she was like, What? Yeah. Yeah. It literally goes, so, we've been looking this way at all of the alarms going off. Did you look behind you? There was a very bright light two seconds ago. Oh, what was that? Oh my god, where did the desert go? Where is the desert? Yeah. Um, where is the also, desert and what does it go? Yeah. <laughs> it goes to glass. Um, it's very shiny right now. Uh, but it's interesting, uh, there's new PCs on the board now. The red is actually on the board. Yeah. Um, which is terrifying. Um... Because just the notion you can't even get within a two mile radius of them. Yeah. We've been able to stand face to face with other dragons. You cannot do it with this guy. Even just when Trill's like, I'm not taking you to him. 
Yeah. Like Yeah. It's like no, I'm like, not no. doing it. It's like I'm not I going like to actively guys. provoke him. Like you could read into that. I don't mind sharing this much. Like he clearly has went to like probably just snooze. Because he's mm. he's went, went blah. That was great. Just trashes Golden Citadel, snuggles in, you know, and then chills out. And then obviously the idea of people popping in, going, uh, "Yo, how's it going?" You go, "Oh, I'm up now, I suppose." You know, <laughs> what do? And then just do. breathe fire everywhere. Although I now realise yeah. Jet is so aptly named. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, I just he's yeah. It's the fact that through what I've seen, because Maratus hasn't met Candia, mm -hmm. um, and I've now met Cyril as Cyril in the meeting, and she seemed very diplomatic, very mm -hmm. smart, quite charming. Um, but everything I've seen, these dragons seem very amicable, very, you know, civilized is the word I'm going to use here very loosely. The fact that even Soro was like, I'm not, no, we're not going near him as if she, even she's like, I can't, I can't with him sometimes. Uh -huh. Yeah, 100%. Like, he's the sibling out of all of us that as soon as he enters the room, we all try and leave the room kind of attitude. Like, mm -hmm. oh, fuck, he's here now. I just think it's so hard um, to find the green and the black. Right, they're probably like, uh, it's, it's, we've tapped in Candir and Cyril, they can babysit this time, you know, they can be yeah, there, they can be there I, millennia. I, I do wonder, like, the, the, the dynamic, especially, as I said, with the white being the, the highest up versus the red, who seems so destructive, it's like, okay, so that, if, if, if him just coming in and can literally glass an entire desert, what the fuck does Candir do? Just, you know, winter is coming? Hmm. I am the White Walkers now. Everything is snow. <laughs> yeah. Like, what what kind of level is that? <laughs> yep. I'm interested. But I at least I think I could have a conversation with that one. I imagine any conversation with the Red mainly involves, why is it not burning? It's not, not dying. That insults me. All right. Does I'm it squish? Just yeah, does it squish? Crunch. Yeah. Hmm. Crunch. The um, interesting thing as well is the party have probably had the most... I would say, like, charisma is a good way to describe, obviously, Cerule, but, like, I think candor is maybe the better way to describe mm. candor. Um, she probably came off across more friendly as opposed to Cerule. It's a bit more business-like um, with her interactions. But, yeah. Anything else, my dear? No, I love you all. Everybody stay safe, IRL, and in game, especially Aww. if we're going to be going and um, playing with hyper volatile wards. <laughs> mm. Yeah, uh. it's going to be fun to see what happens when you turn off the support woman's getting. Um, <laughs> also, I'm looking forward to eventually getting a long rest because, dear <laughs> God, my boy is still tired. Yeah, you even with your... intervention. Yep, yep. Divine well. intervention so soon. Um, you can just need to use it every day. Every day. Um, hope yep. for the best. I'm still, oh dear. I'm still anyway, like, before low. we go too too far over into our friendly chats, thank you all for playing. That was a lot of fun for me to deliver as a GM. There was a lot of stuff I was waiting on, which I was obviously thinking <laughs> like, oh god, it's going to be horrible, but glorious at the same time. So thank you all for that. That was great reactions, as always. Uh, thank you everybody that watched, supported, etc, etc, etc. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, good night, Bye. sleep well, or Goodbye, good morning. Everybody. Or